testing, testing, testing. Let's get the score up. Test. Uh-oh, there goes Logan. Okay. Testing, testing, testing. Testing, testing, testing. Okay, so this should go. Jeez. Oh. Dangerous pass. Yeah, okay, hang on. Mm. Yep. Okay. Oh. Something. Yeah, I got something on that one. Testing, testing. Hey, okay. All right, we got our volume worked out. We're okay, maybe? I don't. Uh, maybe, 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 maybe. <laughs>
Hand off to the left. Looks like Connor Carr got his first tackle of the year as he takes out the runner. I didn't see who's running the ball for Cameron though. Had a short game. Well, about three or four yard carry. RPO, screen out wide, Bowen, yeah, Bowen blew him up, I believe that's Bowen, and the rest of the Vikings were there on the, for the tackle. Who is that? No, that's Caleb Manjaras that blew up that play out there on the corner. There we go. There we go. <laughs> All right. There we are. Sorry, folks. Thanks for your patience <laughs> as we're trying to get settled in. All right, we've got a third down and eight for the Yeoman. You're going to be two back formation. He's going to get look to his left side. Ooh, block down. Block. That's number three. That would be Bryce Jackson impacting the game early, early on third down. So because of that massive punt from Ethan Helton, Cameron Yeo is going to be punting, what appears to be punting from their own 12. Vikings look to get decent field position again for their second drive if they can they get the ball here. All right, here's the punt from his own end zone. It's going to go land. Oh, at about the 40. That is Ethan Helton, Ethan Helton fearless yes, again. Fear, had ran right by two guys trying to cover the punt, and if he didn't get tripped up, he would have probably picked up easily another 10 yards, you know. So the Vikings got the ball on the 39-yard lines where they marked it of Cameron Yo, just second drive of the game. All right, Vikings come out, second drive, 0-0. Zero, zero. Is the score 7.53 remaining in the first quarter, first game of the year? It's a great sound, isn't it? It is a great sound. It's a great sound. People, bands. There's no sound no. like it. No, there's not. Looks like Parsons in the backfield with Bowen. Bowen's going to look left. A little quick hitch to number 14. That is Gavin, he Gavin, Gavin Hester. Hester. Sorry, Gavin Hester. Gavin Hester is going to be driven out of bound about the 37-yard line. That's a gain of about four. We'll say three to four. Thank you. Maybe. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Sorry. Something fell out of the plug. Stop's going to come in one back formation. That's going to be Parsons to his right. El uh, Helton goes into motion. One on the right, two on the left. And Bowen's going to hand this to Helton. Open. Helton is going to go around the right side. Breaks. Great tackle behind the line from number 14. That is Carlos Bolivar. Or Landon Green. Uh, Bolivar had the uh, first contact, and then Landon Green cleaned up the mess. Yeah. Cameron showing we knew they had was speed. Yeah, talking to Coach Jansen, you know, earlier today about, you know, just what he was thinking about today and, and all that is we have been knocking on the door of just, you know, Cameron, you know, if you go, let's say 10 years ago, was was a different class, yes. right, for sure. As Bowen stops, going to throw a little screen to the right oh. side. That's dropped in and out of the hands of Gavin Hester. Uh, he had, you know, that's something very common now is you, you just – Take a step before you run, right, yep. and, and you, on, on that screen pass. So fourth down, fourth down, and we'll go fourth down at seven. I think you go for it again here. Yeah. And maybe a quick pooch kick as well from Bowen here. Who knows? Parsons in the backfield with him. We'll have trips to the left. That is number 15, Braden Smith out wide. Gavin Hester, and oh, Ooh. they're going to have a free snap, and he's going to go down the right side. Got Ethan Helton for Ethan the Helton touchdown. touchdown. No flags on the 
I don't see any laundry. How is there not a flag on the play for I tell you, yeah. uh, offsides? Yeah. The, 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 well, that. <laughs> anyways, unbelievable play from yeah. Bowen Staub to just evade the rush and then throw deep down the right side. And what a catch by Ethan showing, Helton. Showing good arm strength through that ball a long way. And Ethan ran to, and just won the race to it. Who's kicking? Looks like Bowen's kicking as well. Bryce Jackson holding. Former linebacker. Yep. <laughs> now place kicker. That's right. Herb. All right, they're going to go. They'll bring out the heavy packages. It's going to be offsides against the uh, the yeoman. Move them up a few yards. Or actually they're walking it. They're walking it back. back. All right, then. So the ball's now at the... Few substitutions here. I don't think Coach Phillips is... Uh, Understanding of that call, from his body <laughs> right? right now. I think clearly the Vikings coaching staff thought that ball. I thought that was uh, was going to go the field. other way. Yes. And so, as we have our first, first conference, conference, yeah, yeah, the yeah. Year. There we go, first conference of the year. And it looks like the referees moved it maybe the wrong direction, and it's going to go against the Yeoman. So there we go. Balls with one and a half. Yep. So now they bring out the. It looks like they'll they'll bring out the. Well, it's not going to be the Odin package. Odin That's going to be number forty-two, David Garcia in the backfield. Number twelve, Jeremy Hill is going to be in the. It looks like Staub is swung out right with Helton left. Yeah. A lot of options out of this formation. All right. So you got number seven, Connor Karg. Behind the line on the right side as well. They're going to go to Garcia. He'll take it himself. And all he's got to do Did he get there? Uh, is just short. That's a good tackle. Yep. David Garcia. Yep. Had one man to beat. It was just him and his man. And his man was able to get him down before he crossed. So the O's D holds there for the two points. Let's see who's his. Helton, if Helton's kicking, as he put a charge in the ball when he kicked in the punt. Yeah. All right. So, Coach Hill, you know this. This is a uh, first game of the year, yeah. and and uh, hey, let's <laughs> let's say you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, you know, you want. With with everything, it was a uh, you know state semifinalist for the for for Lago Vista last year, and hey, let's let's see exactly where you're at, yeah, coming into this year. So you want, you know, uh, you want to compete with the best? Sure, let's throw Cameron yeah. Yo on the schedule and let's see what we got. This is a big one of our biggest first games of a year that we've had in a long time. Mm -hmm. Yep, and uh, so yeah, I think it's gonna, and you never know going into a season. What you've really got, right? You yep. you've got you can think, yeah, this is going to work. This is this is uh, who knows who knows, um, but this one, this this answers a lot of questions. This is number thirty-one, Marlon Gavaret, soccer player, soccer player, cross country star. Good kick. That's a really nice kick. It's going to be fielded inside the ten yard line. A fake reverse. The Vikings got him about the 15, well covered by the Vikings. I believe number 34 in on that tackle. Reece that was Lee. that was number five. Bynum Fabian, senior running back. So, like you were saying, there's a lot of returners. There's also a lot of new faces, and so it's Marlin. Marlin, yeah. No. All right, yeah, you're right. You know, and that's the uh, that's that's the the greatness of uh, you know high school sports is it just it's a uh, it's a continual rotation, right? Continual rotation. As Cameron comes out, they're going to have trips to the right side, one wide right receiver to the left, and 
One in the backfield. And little quick little bubble it. screen out to the right side across the 10, 15, taken down. We've got number five. Bowen Staub, looks like uh, Miles Topo it yeah. running in on that tackle. Gavin, uh, Gavin Hester in there as well. Uh, Gage Mayhew in on that. Let's see. All right. Cameron comes out, two wide receivers to the right side, two to the left side, one in the backfield. There's like a little snap. movement. That oh, was really up nice. Bowen Stop. Bowen Stop jumped pick. on that. He jumped on that route. Yeah. And, um, there's, there's a flag on the play. I think the line may have moved a little early, which I have a feeling first game of the year we're probably going to see. A bit of yellow tonight on both sides. Well, you know, the referee's got to get in shape, yeah. too. <laughs> so, um, you know, they haven't thrown a flag in a while. So, it's you know, it's important for, it's important for everybody to get the, <laughs> get, the, get the bugs out tonight. Mm -hmm. We have 525 remaining in the first quarter. Agavis leading 6 to nothing on a um, oh. beautiful touchdown pass from Bowen Staub to Ethan Helton. On a fourth down conversion, yep. they uh, they were not able to convert the extra point. All right, and so that leads us to where we are with 5:25 left. Third down, and we'll say third down and five. Cameron Yo comes out. They've got trips to the left side, one to the right, one in the backfield. They uh -oh. will fake the pitch, and I think that, that is gobbled up. up. Yeah. Who is that? Ga uh, David Garcia on the play. Looked like the quarterback and the running back weren't on the same page. He tried to fake or have an option there. And yeah, it didn't, it didn't, it didn't go. But I tell you go. what, Bryce Jackson also blew in, the, blew yeah. up that play as he came out of nowhere. Um, you know, he he saw, he read the quarterback going around the side, and he met him there early. So they're gonna probably fourth, uh, force a punt here at fourth down and eight. Helton standing on the fifty to receive. I was super impressed, and a little. Ooh, oh, there's snap. a uh, bad snap, but he's going to get Good it kick. off. Nice kick, especially with the snap. It's going to land Ooh. inside the 50. Viking take a bounce. Cameron. Yeah, a, a Lago bounce backwards, and it'll be touchdown at the 44-yard line. Good field position again for the Vikings. You know, defense so far has picked up right where they left off last year. For sure. That was. I mean, last year we had so much fun watching that defense that was undersized. Just compete night in, night out. And well, I think so far they've they've kind of picked up where they've left off. You know, I think a lot of the preseason press was about um, linebacker Bryce Jackson, mm -hmm. right? And yep. that's that is sort of the epitome of um, a lago vista defensive football. You know, you you look at Bryce Jackson on the street, <laughs> and you're <laughs> like, hey, what linebacker. do you do? What do you do? Uh, what do you do on defense? Oh, I'm probably one of the better linebackers in the district. Yeah. Okay, uh -huh. you got it. Um, and he is, he's a missile out there. Bowen stop oh, across the middle, 25 fake. to Ethan Helton. Little run pass option right there. Eric. That's a that's a great play. Yes. Ethan Helton on a slant over the middle, and the run pass option just opened it wide up, and a great throw from Bowen Staub. They'll go no huddle, two to the left, two to the right, one in the backfield. And they'll hand that to Parsons. Parsons goes up the middle, gains probably two. Now essentially the same play, except yeah. this time he handed it off. Yeah, and I was just thinking, you know, if – if uh, I mean, it, it's it's the way you want to initiate and run an offense. But if you've got that slant open that keeps those linebackers, you know, honest for half of a second, yeah. that's going to mean big things for Logan Parsons as we uh, as we go along. And so far running the ball has been pretty tough. This, this Cameron Yo defense – Getting to the line and being quick has made running the ball pretty tough. We've been able to hit them over the top. Got Brandon Smith and Gavin Hester to the left side, two to the right side. I can't see the numbers over there. We're going to go Helton and yeah. uh, like number 21. Parsons. Uh, Parsons with another carry and not much. Yep. Baird and Calden out wide to the right side. 
So we're not able to get that running game. We've hit on a couple big plays so far. Trying to get that running game established. And that's the thing about the run game, right? Just keep plugging, keep plugging. It will it will come for sure. So we got Smith, Hester, and that's that Helton. That is uh, yep. Helton. Helton and, uh, yeah, uh, trips left on the. Baron called up top. Yep. Bowen Staub has Logan Parsons to his left. Staub's going to roll left, roll left, roll left. He's looking, looking. He's going to go to the end zone jump and ball. jump ball. Yep. Good defense, and, you yes. know, yeah. Gavin. He a late flag. I don't know what the late flag could possibly be because it was a jump ball. I mean, it was well defended by Cameron, as you said, Eric. You know, they, they covered the rollout. They, Logan put the ball really the only place he could. Yeah, Gavin, receipt, Gavin you know. was – he tried to make a play, yeah. and uh, we'll see what the call is. But this flag came in late. I don't know if there was – on Sportsman, they're going to call pass interference. Wow. Against the defense. Eric, the call goes for us, but if I'm playing defense, I think that's a uh, – Yeah, I'm not – I don't know. I, you know, that's a jump ball. I don't yeah. I don't see – I don't know about that. I mean, we'll they take were, it. They were, it, it. they were both playing the ball, I guess. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. But, anyways, we'll take it for sure. Yeah. There will be a call later in the yeah. in the game that we're like, well, I don't like that one. Yeah. <laughs> so, there we go. We got first and goal. Well, if you're the Vikings, that's that's a wow. That's, that's a, a, yeah. You got to take advantage of that opportunity that you just got here. So. That was first and goal um, at the two yard line. Cameron coaches are still on the field, <laughs> displeased. <not. laughs> yes, <laughs> that was displeased an, is uh, that was an angry timeout call. <laughs> yes, it was. <laughs> yeah, it's like you say. It's one of those. I mean, we, you know, I've had the pleasure of doing this with you now for three years. And yeah, unbelievable. We've seen, we've seen calls both ways, and that's one of those, you know, you almost feel a little sheepish taking it, but you'll take it because it's an opportunity to yeah. to get another score on the board and what you know is going to be a long ball game. So, so uh, two minutes, 54 seconds remaining in the first quarter. Lagavista leading six to nothing. On a beautiful night. Beautiful night here in Cameron U. I guess it's just Cameron. Just Cameron. Yeah, Cameron. Vikings will have first down and goal inside the two-yard line. Tell you what, the setting of this football stadium is incredible. It is incredible. There is a question. That is a crit. I think you're about right. half the distance, but it was in the end zone. So if it's in the end zone, then they get it down there. A little like direct Garcia. snap to Garcia, and he'll still take it inside for the Viking touchdown. For those, uh, Garcia is new to us this year, uh, and folks, he's a big young man. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> before I even knew, I, and I and I have I have met him um, a few times, and he's he's a great young man, great addition to the program. Um, his dad's a coach with us. They've got yes. three. Uh, he's got two younger brothers. Um, no, David Garcia is a junior. Yeah. Um, he has an older brother, Roy Garcia, number 52. And there's the kick it from Bowen Saab, and the kick good. is good. That brings the score to 13 to nothing. With two minutes and 52 seconds remaining in the first quarter. Anyways, I'd, I'd, I had not even seen anything. I just heard how much they were hang cleaning, uh, hang cleaning <laughs> and which kind of like made everybody in the weight room jaw drop a little bit yeah. and it was like oh okay these these boys are serious so they're great additions uh, you know great additions yes. to the school great additions to the classrooms and um so we're, we're happy to have them great start for the vikings there yeah 13 nothing here in the first quarter all right as we get Going on the uh, on the season, you know, don't forget reach out to us at any uh, anyway. Hit us up on Twitter at Viking Sports at Viking Sports Network. It, I gotta look that up I, now. It's been a while <laughs> since I've said that, and I just I want to I want to tell you what I think we've had a, both had a bit of a week. Yeah, at LV Viking Sports. There we go. Yeah, this was a week. <laughs> you know, if you, <laughs> if you start on Monday, eh, yeah. I could. I could do without another Monday. Well, my, my yesterday ended early this morning. So. <laughs> yeah, you got stuck at 1431. Yep. 
with uh, seventh and eighth grade girls who are coming back for a big volleyball win. That's a lot of yeah, singing. I don't, I don't recommend um, that to anybody. Gavarette to kick off. They're kicking off at the 40-yard line. That's going to go deep down the left side. It's going to be fielded at the 10. Good they will hands. do the reverse. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh -oh, And uh -oh, he's got a uh -oh. seam, and he's, he's got a lot of room. Yep. He is not going to be caught. Yep. The reverse got us, Eric. Yeah. Unbelievable. Yep. And that's the spark that this crowd, you know, you know, that's all it takes. Yep. That's all it takes. And, yeah, that reverse, they ran it to a – they ran it to a T, I believe number four. That was number four. Um, Hemphill Farrell. Yep. You know, and yeah, they ran it perfectly, and he had. He had a lot of room. Yeah, he did. So it looks like. I want to give a shout out to uh, to our man, Coach Rogers, uh, who's going to be doing the film work tonight. So way to go, Coach Rogers. Can't tell. Are they kicking? Looks like number eleven. Kick. Yeah, it looks like they're going to kick. That's going to be number Jesse 11. Martinez. Yep. Senior Jesse yep. Martinez. And Brian Munoz on the hold. Snap, hold, and the kick so is good. good. Yep. Good, yep. Just like that. Yeah, two minutes and 40 seconds yep. remaining in the first quarter. Lago Vista 13, Cameron 7. And you know, like, it doesn't matter. No. And, like, first quarter, yeah, you can go score. Yeah. You can go score. Guess what? It's going to be a ball game up yeah. until the fourth. Well, you're playing a school with a lot of tradition. Mm -hmm. You know, they expect to win every year, you know, so you know you're playing literally all 60 minutes of the game tonight. So. Yeah, don't get comfortable. Yeah. And we're not going to get comfortable because no. we have <laughs> these little plastic <laughs> stools. <laughs> But, hey, I guess we'll, you know what? We'll be standing before. You, sh you show up at 725. <laughs> <then> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> you, get, you get what you get. Ethan Helton and Gavin Hester back deep for the Vikings. Yeah, most of everywhere we were was stuck in Friday, Friday afternoon mode and not in a hurry to get anywhere. <laughs> exactly. Oh, so Gavin's back there. Have a uh, – have a great story about a uh, a kicker, and I, I'm not sure if he's out here. Um, was a young man who uh, this was for Lagavist, a young man who had never played football before, and they said, "Hey, can you kick?" I'll tell you more after this kickoff, and this is gonna be a short little pooch kick. It's gonna be fielded by Helton at the 27-yard line. He goes to the 20. Yeah. <laughs> it, was like, it was taken at the 24, and then tackle made back yeah. at the 20. They're going to spot him at the about the 23, 24, 24 yard line. So, um, so this young man, he had no clue about football. Never played football. Never seen football. So Coach Ball took him out and uh, said, "Hey, can you kick? Can you kick the ball?" And he said, "Yeah, kick it." And uh, then he brought him back to the 30. And then he was spraying them all over the place, left, right, left, right. And then um, Coach Ba told him, he said, no, 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 you've got to kick between the uprights. <laughs> he was trying to miss the uprights, and then he was like, oh, I can do that. And then he nailed them. Parsons with a handoff. Parsons goes across 25 to the 27-yard line, gave him about yeah, we'll go two on that one. Yeah, running yards are, have been tough so far. Rushing yards have been tough. Two fifteen left in the first quarter. Lagavista leading thirteen to seven. Touchdown run by David Garcia and a long touchdown pass from Bowen Staub to Ethan Helton, accounting for the scoring. Second and seven. Uh, two wide receivers to the right side, one to the left, two in the backfield for Helts, uh, for Staub. Staub's going to take it and fake the pitch goes. Good pursuit. Yeah, not really anything there. Yeah. They strung that out well. I think Staub did a good job there of not, uh, like he should not have dished because that was just a, uh, that would have been more danger. I think this defense is used to seeing that kind of, or, you know, they're well schooled on, that offense or that that play, mm -hmm. that yep. quarterback option that it looks like they, they gained about a yard. Yeah. So that'll be third down and six. Now we'll go trips to the right. That's going to be uh, called in. 
uh, Helton and Hester out wide to the right. They're looking on the left side on a fly. Braden Smith looking and for Braden yep. Smith. And, and now, wow. Once, wow. So the ball, the ball was over Braden Smith's head, and he really didn't get his head around in time to find it. He was well covered. Braden's a little bigger, and, and uh, you know, they were trying to go for the jump ball for Braden with a size advantage. Ball was over the head, and, folks, like both players had turned around our side and going back to the line of scrimmage, and then the flag came in. Yeah, we'll see what and we so got. Okay, it's okay. Good, good. They, they picked it, it up. Yep. Okay. I think that's a, I think that's a good call. Yeah, the ball was a little too high. Yeah, if you're gonna call pass interference on that yeah. one, and really uh -huh. neither player even tried to make a play on it. So, <laughs> right. I mean, that's like, like, yeah. I don't know how you can call. The pass players were like, okay, that's, so. that's good. So the all right, minute and two seconds remaining in the first quarter, 13 to seven, Lago Vista leading. And this will be Helton to kick. Boy, I tell you what, with Helton back there. The different options that you yes. have to fake a punt yep. are impressive. He's going to roll to his right, roll to his right, and uh, he's going to kick that. That was, was not, not his best effort. Nope. Nope. As good as his first kick was, that wasn't, yeah, <laughs> that's going to hurt the average. Yep. That's going to go out of bounds in Laga Vista territory. Yeoman will take care, take care, take over. About a minute 45, to go. First and 10 at the 45 yard line. 54 seconds remaining. Yep. It's funny how fast it, how things, momentum, how fast it can change. Right? Yeah, for sure. Look for a quick hitter here from possibly from uh, Cameron. On the defensive line for Lago Vista, we have Aiden Stojanic on the left end spot. As soon as we see more numbers, we'll. Uh, let you know who's battling there in the trenches. There's going to be a little screen off to the left side. And 14, Gavin Hester. Nice tackle after a game of about five. Yep. I'm just trying to outflank us right now. 72, Davin Zervitz. He's going to be at the uh, defensive tackle spot. Uh, 67. I don't have it. 67. He's doing a good job, though, whoever 67 <laughs> is. If anybody knows who 67 is, let us know. we got a 57. That's Wyatt Forbes. Hey, maybe it's Wyatt Forbes. Maybe I just can't see. My eyesight has been I, failing me as of late. One wide receiver to the right side, or left side. Two to the right, and there's going to be a handoff. Come on, Bryce. He goes across the... And, yeah. Yeah. They Look at Les Bowen. Yeah. Yeah, he, he, uh, he tackled him by his face mask yep. considerably. So that's going to add on mm -hmm. to uh, – that's going to put the uh, yo make around the 10-yard line. That goes a uh, 15-yard penalty. As yep. we go to 39 seconds remaining in mm -hmm. the first quarter, Lago Vista leading 13 to 7. Yeah, puts the ball on a 15. So. Here we go. All right, for those watching at home and you're like, hey, there's no video. We know, we, we realize there's no video. We're trying to check that. And get a hold of Coach Rogers as we speak. But we'll just do a radio broadcast for right now. Number five. That is uh, Falbian. Gain of one, and they will let the clock run out to the first quarter. Lagavista leading 13 to 7. If this was the first half and the first half was over, that'd be. A solid, that'd be a quick half. <laughs> true, true. All right. So, first quarter ends, and I'd say, hey, you know what? If if you're looking at a, the uh, what you want out of the first quarter for the Vikings, 
playing a team like Cameron Yo, for sure. We had some good defensive plays. Uh, you know, our defense has, has stood tall. We've had some good offensive production. And uh, so I think that's, uh, you know, I yep. think it's it's a win on all sides here. We're going to have to have a stand here to start the second. Yeah, you for sure. This might be a good break for the Vikings to kind of catch their breath and kind of reorganize a little. That momentum had really started moving the other way. Yeah, for sure. All right, boys, here we go. All right, so we've got a second down and nine for Cameron Yo. Cameron Yo is going to come out. Well, it looks like they'll have one wide receiver to the right side, two to the left side. They're going to have two in the backfield. Oh, and flag start. on the play. There we go. Take what you can get. So it's going to – so it's second down and now 14. Yeah, they'll go second and 14. So – Pretty cute. Cameron Yo's got the uh, the little league cheerleaders here. Oh my goodness gracious! A bunch of I'd say five, <laughs> six year old cheerleaders. There's a lot. <laughs> There's a bunch. That just you, you, that breeds that that that's a sign of a successful pup, football and mm -hmm. cheerleading program if you've got that many kids out here on the field already. Pretty and it's what a good what a, what a great experience for the kids. Okay, we've got two wide receivers spread to the right, two to the left, one in the backfield now. Oh, it's got a screenplay, but that I think we Drake. got it. That, that is, is 99. That Aiden Stoyjanik. Nice. Good hustle running him down from behind. And I believe that was Connor Card that helped hold that play up. So we got uh, third and third and 16, Eric? Third and 17, I think. Yeah, we'll, go, we'll go third down. And well, the scoreboard says yeah. third and 17, and that's what we're going with. So I think if you're Cameron Yo here. Probably two down. You're thinking two down on 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 third down, mm -hmm. make it manageable. Fourth down, go for something. We'll have trips to the right, one in the backfield and one to the left. That is quarterback Braylon Drake. Oh, it looks like we're gonna have a delay a game call. I don't think they got the timeout, or did they call the timeout? Yeah, they yeah, got they the yeah, they got the timeout as they were just about to run out of. Uh, it's first game. I mean, it's. You know, kids, it, it, I know they've had a, probably a couple scrimmages, but it's first game. You know, things like this happen. Yeah, for sure. Well, you know, I was, I was down um, at a middle school football practice the other day, and it just, it just hit me how, how much goes into one play, mm -hmm. you know, and, and how you've got to have your kids, like, Paying attention, know what's going on. It's just it, there's there's a lot. So even at the varsity, like these kids have been playing for a long time at a very high level. Guess what? Like it's been a little while. Mm -hmm. So all right, here we go. All right, third oh, down and sixteen got a yard. now. They got a yard. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have the trips to the right, one in the backfield, one to the left, and Drake is going to take the snap. He's looking, looking, take some pressure. He steps up. And he's still looking. He's oh, going to go to the end zone. And nice what a play. Who is Bowen Stab? That was a nice pass breakup because that was an impressive throw off his back foot on the run by the quarterback. You know, Drake did a good job there of scrambling, scrambling, mm -hmm. looking downfield. He had the man. Bowen Stab just was able to yeah. uh, make up the ground. and uh, Strong arm, athletic yeah. throw off his back foot, and zinged it in there. And Bowen Stab got a great break on the ball. All right, this is Jesse Martinez who's going to try a field goal. Ball's going to be at the 27-yard line, right? 28. 28. So the 38-yard. 38-yard field goal. And the kick is up, and did he make it? Looks like he got he it in. Got he got it. it. Good kick. Good kick. So the O get points. So all right. So it is 13 to 10 with 11 minutes left in the first half. But Lagavista leading 13 to 10. D did a good job. They, you know, we they saw did a that good job. so many times last year, Eric, where they give, give, and then just bow their necks. And I tell you, 
they're do they're showing it again right now. Excellent job. All right, BJ, I'm going to leave you um, to your own devices here, and I'm going to go <laughs> find Coach Rogers and um, All righty. see if I can't get the video back on. Outstanding. <laughs> What's your password on your computer? I'll just have to keep doing this every now and then. Oh, I didn't bring my eyes with me tonight. Jesse Martinez looks to kick it off for Cameron. Vikings have Parsons and I believe Helton back deep to receive. There's a kick, low kick. Ethan will pick it up on a bounce. Blocked up to about the 20, breaks the tackle. He's looking to go down the sideline, and he's going to get out to about the 30, 31-yard line. Maybe a little extracurricular going on after. So a decent return for the Vikings of about 20 yards as they'll take over on their own. Looks like you're going to spot it on the 30, or 30, about 31-yard line. All right, you got to stop in the backfield with both David Garcia and Parsons. Looks like... There's a snap. Bowen rolls to his left. He's going to keep it and run. He got a pretty good yard, pretty good gain, about, about five yards. Good first down play for the Vikings. Maybe four and a half. Or, yeah, going to be second and about a long, second and five or, yeah, second and five to go. Ball's placed on the 36-yard line. Garcia and Parsons in the backfield alongside uh, Stop. Ball snap. He hands it off to Parsons. Oh, he keeps it himself. And Cameron blew it up at the line. And Logan's, or sorry, Bowen's not going to be able to get much out of it. It's going to help for no gain. Pulled it out of Logan. Thought he had a seam. And the yo defense collapsed on him pretty quick for no gain. So we're looking at third and, well, third and about four yards. Minimal gain on that last play. All right, Vikings will go four wide this time. Looks like Parsons in the backfield with stop. Big third down to get right here to keep the drive alive. Bad snap, ball on the ground. Logan pick or Bowen picks it up and it's going to get tackled for a pretty good loss, unfortunately for the Vikings, about eight, seven, eight yards. Vikings are probably going to have to punt here on fourth down. Just never got the ball in his hands and did good just to maintain possession. So the Vikings are going to have to kick it off or punt it away here. Ethan Helton back to kick. Number thirty. Jaquarius Hardman back deep to receive for the yo as I lose audio. There we go. Ethan hits a low bounding punt with a good big bounce picked up. And he's made a man miss and he's still going deep into Viking territory all the way down to the 30 yard line. I believe number, I didn't get the number. Big return of about 30 yards, so Cameron Yo is deep in Viking territory here to, with about 8.24 to go in the second quarter. All right. 
don't have a number on our roster sheet that we have for the young man who returned the ball for Cameron. All right, here we go. Cameron's got the ball, first down. One back alongside the quarterback. He's looking to throw. Looks over the middle. Got a man diving. Oh, diving an attempt down around the 13-yard line and dropped. Ball looked like it had a little wobble to it. I might. Ah. We got second down and 10. I don't know how much is left on it. It's got a cord on it. You're going to pass out to the right, a little swing pass, and looks like I can't see who's in on a tackle. The Vikings kept it to about a five five yard gain. We've got a lot going on up here right now, folks. All right, so we get about third and five from the 26-yard line for Cameron Yo. Bow your neck Viking defense. Ball snap, handed off, breaks past the first by the line, makes another tackle, and oh, breaks another tackle. He's down to the five. He's going to get into the end zone as he stepped through yet another arm, and I don't believe they marked him out of bounds at the five, and it looks like they're going to give him a touchdown. Vikings had a couple chances at the running back and just weren't able to get him down as Fabian Bynum scores for the Cameron Yo to give them the lead at 16-13. Like a draw play for the Cameron Yo. And he was able to get through that first wave, make a couple men miss, and good run for him. Number 11, Jesse Martinez to kick. Extra point is up, and it look, appears to be good as Cameron Yo takes the lead 17-13 to 13 with about 7.33 left to play in the second quarter. So right now, Mr. Holtz work as a, being our technical producer right now as he's trying to solve the uh, camera issues we got, folks. He says he's pretty close to solving it. We got our own. Yeah, to take his lens cap off. <laughs> the lens cap was removed from the camera. For those who are wondering, we got all sorts of first night gremlins going this this evening. All right, here we go. Helton back deep. Looks like alongside. Parsons, deep to receive for the kick. Jesse Martinez getting ready to kick it off for the Cameron Yo. Here's the kick. It's another pooch kick. Looks like Helton's going to pick it up about the 15-yard line. Going to go up the left sideline. He's got a pretty good run going, folks. He's broken free. He's across midfield. He looks like he might be able to go to the house with it. I don't see any laundry on the field. Ethan Helton has returned the ball for a touchdown and a big answer for the Vikings. All right. Nothing on the field. It's going to stand. Ethan Helton did that a few times last year, and he's got his first of the year. Great job by the Vikings answering back. And here we go. We're up 19-17 with an extra point to ensue. What a great play by the Vikings. Right, Bowen Staub on to kick. Bryce Jackson, linebacker, on to hold. Ball snap, fumbled. Bryce is going to go down. Oh, it tosses it to Bowen, who's got it. 
He's going to throw to the end zone looking for David Garcia, and it's caught. And it's dropped. Didn't complete the catch. Almost pulled off the improbable two-point conversion, so the lead's going to stay at two for the Vikings, 19-17, on a wild extra point play. That Jackson Humkey just couldn't hold on to the end of the play right there. Oh, and a great, I say great, it was a it was a bobbled snap that turned into almost a great throw by Bowen Staub for two points. All right, so both teams now have returned to have returned to kick. We'll see how, how much longer both teams keep kitting the ball deep. Fabian Bynum back deep, who's already got, I believe, a couple touchdowns on the night. And I can't see the number of the other young man. Marlon Gabaret putting the ball on the tee, getting ready to... Uh, Get kick the ball off for the Vikings. The Vikings spread out along the line. And here we go. Here's the kick. It's going to pooch it short to number two for Cameron Yo, who's running sideways as the Vikings. Looked like Bright, Braden Smith ran him down about the 20 yard line, no gain. Which would, so the ball's gonna be played, yeah, about the 22 yard line. Probably see pooch kicks from both squads for the rest of the night. Nice tackle by Braden. All right, Cameron Yo offense comes onto the field. Number 15, Braylon Drake in the shotgun with Fabian Bynum off to his left. Three receivers out left, one receiver out right. Looks in the pass, going to throw it short, and Bowen almost, Bowen read it. The throw was high. It's going to go incomplete. <laughs> Mr. Holt, I think Eric's just about got the camera up and working. We're going to look at second down and 10. Same formation for, oh, I'm sorry. Here we go. Handoff from the uh, camera. Oh, it was a reverse play by Cameron. Uh, pretty well blocked, or pretty well, uh, I'm sorry, covered by the Vikings. It's number 42. Sorry, folks. Let me pull it. Let's just say number 42, David Garcia on the tackle. Good discipline by the Viking defense right there as they actually hold that to a, a tackle for a loss on an attempted reverse from the Cameron Yoke. So we're looking at third and long right here for the Viking defense. Great reads right there, Eric. Thank you. <laughs> All right, here we go. We got two out, two receivers out both to both sides. We're running back off to the quarterback's right. Snap, shotguns, going back to throw. He's looking over the middle. Ball's caught for a first down, and he holds on as two Vikings put a pretty good hit on him. Big play for a first down for Cameron Yo as Bowen Staub and Gavin Hester wrap up the wrap up the receiver number three, Kason Goolsby, on about a 13-yard pass. Strong arm, good route, good throw, and got the first down. Here we go. Same formation. And the shotgun, ball snapped, handed off to, nope, kept by the quarterback. He's going to be tackled for little to no gain, maybe a small loss by the Vikings as they don't fall for the, uh, don't fall for the option. Bryce Jackson in on that tackle. David Garcia, host of Vikings, lots of white shirts. Braden Smith, 
A lot of white shirts in on that tackle. And we second in looks to be 10 yards. Same formation, two receivers out both sides. Running back off to the quarterback's left, ball snap. He's going to throw down the right side on a fade and just out through his receiver, which is a good thing for Viking fans because it looked like he got a, he got off the line and had just a step. Just a step, but the ball was too far out in front. So we're going to get third and long again for that Viking defense. Number seven, 70, Cole McCulak onto the field, the defensive line for the Vikings. Here we go, third and 10. Chance to get off the field for the Vikings. Same formation, the quarterback drops back to throw. Looks like they're setting up a screen. And, oh, got, oh he dropped the ball, fumble. That looks like the Vikings are going to fall on it. I think we did. I think we got the ball on a turnover. First turnover of the game, I believe. And it looks like we're going to pick the ball up, Eric, on the – Cameron Yo, 30 line, 30 yard line. All right. Well, we're back. Kind of. Welcome. welcome. Yeah, there, there we go. Are. All now right. We're back. All right. So the momentum has gone the other way again. <laughs> the Vikings got it. Miles Topo with the uh, fumble recovery. So first and 10 from the 30 yard line for the Vikings. Looks like. Uh, Parsons going to be in the backfield with Staub. Two receivers out right, two receivers out left. Ball snap. Bowen's going to look to throw. Looking over the middle of the field. Nobody throws. He's going to keep it himself run. He's got a good running room. He oh, makes a man miss. Going to get about a nine or ten yard gain. Strong run. His players recovered, receivers recovered, saw he had an open, middle of the field wide open. Good solid gain on first down on an eight-yard run from Bowen Staub. It's going to bring up second and two from the 22. About 4.40 to go in the, in the quarter, in the half. Clock is running. Vikings in no, no hurry right now. Last year we saw them do this. They'd speed up, slow down, and they weren't just one way the whole time. Parsons off to Bowen's left. Ball snap, handed off to Parsons. Logan's looking to run around the right side, and he's going to be corralled about the line of scrimmage, maybe even a little bit of a loss. Running yards have been Parsons tough to come by tonight. By yeah, they're going to say a loss of one, so we're looking at third and three, probably two down territory for the Vikings. Make it third three. About four minutes to go as the clock continues to run. Vikings do kick the ball off at the half, so – Important that they try to get some points out of this right here. Parsons off to Staub's right. You got three receivers bunched tightly to the left, one out right. Ball snap, set up the screen left. Helton with the ball, but he's going to be tackled for no gain as it was well, well defended by the Cameron Yo defense. And we're looking at even, we, I think we lost even another yard. So we're looking at fourth and four. Coach Phillips does not appear to be sending anyone on the field. Looks like the offense is staying on the field as they're going to go for fourth and four here. So same formation, three to the left, one right. Parsons in the backfield with Staub. Ball snap, maybe a little bit of movement. Free play possibly for the Vikings. He's going to throw to the end zone, looking for Helton, who's, oh, looked like the pass got broken up in a corner. Or is that, yeah, was looking for, I believe, Gavin Hester in the corner of the end zone. So flags on the field. Looks like offsides against the Yo. And I do believe this is going to be an automatic first down on the yardage. It's going to be close, but I think it's an automatic. Yep, automatic first down for the Vikings here. Okay, why didn't you tell me when you were sitting over here that you couldn't see anything? <laughs> I didn't. I thought that was just you know we me. just we just we're sitting here yeah. and you know we're uh, we're now we've we've, we've switched <laughs> spots now that you know right. now that we got the audio the, uh, the the video back. Um, all right, here we go. We got two wide receivers spread to the left side, one to the right. Helton went in motion. Helton goes into motion. Two in the backfield. Parsons and there Helton. They'll hand on. it to Parsons. On, goes across the go. twenty-five, fifteen mm -hmm. across the fifteen. 
Good run. They'll mark Logan. it down at the 14 yard line. Running yards have been hard to come by tonight, Eric. For sure. Um, it's been and hard I, to come by. I feel like um, they have just, you know, but you got to keep grinding, kind of get. Keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing, because the yards are going to come. You got Logan Parsons in the backfield. Yep. You hand it to him because he's going to go. He's going to break he one can off. Break one. That's right. All right. That's called in on the right side. One in the backfield. Trips to the left. Logan Parsons is going to line up behind Bowen Stab. Stab's going to give him the ball across the oh, well. ten yard line. Makes a man miss. Goes and to the five and taken down. It's almost like you were foreshadowing because that we've seen him do that. He can. You can be stop, 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 but he does have good shifty feet and can make a man miss, and he can break it. And that was a big first down run. Ball, what, inside the five? Yep. And the clock continuing to run on about two minutes to go. And Coach Phillips, I think, is in no hurry as he, you know, wants, wants to score but doesn't want to give Cameron much time to do anything with it this half. All right, here's the interesting formation. They're going to have Garcia taking the direct snap. That is number seven, Connor Carr. Connor back Carr. Back the block, and he puts nice job by Carr. Garcia is going to bowl his way toward uh, about the one, maybe. He got a yeah. pretty good little. Yeah, yeah. Bowen yeah. Stab is going to be lined out uh, to the right, and he keeps he keeps <laughs> motioning to the sidelines. Just throw the ball, yeah. throw the ball, give me the ball. Um, so. Yep, about under a minute and a half now, Eric. But Where you want to talk about the. Vikings the in no hurry. You want to talk about options coming out of this formation. There's a lot. There's a lot because you're going to have Ethan Helton out wide to the left, Bowen Staub out wide to the right. You've got Karg and uh, that is Jeremy Hill yep. lined up on the right side. They're going to give it oh, to Garcia. It. Garcia oh. is going to be uh, – yeah, oh, got yeah. Him. He got stopped initially, but he's his big boy kept his feet going and yep. he was able to get over that line. It's over the line. Touchdown. Well, and I do think – I, I do think in that formation, sure, you've got a lot of plays. Don't show them yet, no. right? Just let's do these plays. Let's let's go for it. And uh, and then, you know, when we come to district, then we'll show those things that we've been working right, on. It looks like we're going for two. I don't see I don't yep. see the kicking group out there. So we're up. Do the same formation, 59 seconds remaining in the first half, 25-17, Lago Vista leading. Helton out wide to the oh. left. Oh. It's going to be – <laughs> a bad snap. Garcia is going to pitch oh it to Helton for the two-point conversion. <laughs> so, I don't think that's part of the play. <laughs> I don't. I don't. Two times in a row now yeah. where we have not uh, handled the snap or the shotgun snap from the on the extra point. But it, Garcia did a great job stiff arming a defender, <laughs> yeah. running, and then kind of think of your. I, I know I want to say a word you don't want to hear. A Brett Favre like oh, shuttle. Yeah, yeah thanks forward, a lot. But, but that's kind of what it reminded me of. No, no, no. I think it's more Justin Fields is what <laughs> you're going for there. Um, but no, I feel like uh, definitely not Trubisky. Well, no, it was not intercepted. <laughs> um, so, and it was funny just watching Helton because everybody went to dive onto yes. the loose ball, and Helton was just in the corner of the end zone, <laughs> waving his arms like, "Hey." Nobody left. Nobody got me well, here. David did a great job keeping it alive. I thought he was. I thought he was dead. Yes. You know, I mean, so Vikings up twenty-seven seventeen with a minute to go in the in the first half. Cameron Yo does get the ball back. Yeah, Cameron Yo. Uh, they they won the toss away. and they deferred. So Cameron Yo pooch kick last time. I have a pretty good feeling that <laughs> we'll probably maybe, well, we, maybe we see po the same we pooch kicked as well last time so i have a feeling maybe more of the same for mr gavarett well you know there's there's a minute left here yep these offenses can score really quickly so let's see what we got there is going to be a pooch kick it's going to go to give me a field about it. the 25 yard line out of bounds that is number two or number five caden fussell on the tackle I'll tell you what, the number five has already had some impressive touches on the ball tonight. And anytime he gets it, you kind of, as a Viking fan, you kind of hold your <laughs> You're breath. like, okay, let's make the tackle, please. Let's make the tackle. <laughs> All right, here we go. 55.8 to go in the half. First down for the man. Ball on the 33-yard line. I don't know if anybody heard that. There we go. Yep. 
All right, Cameron Yeo's going to come out. Uh, trips to the right. We got one to the left. Drake's going to go back. He's we'll going him, to. Oh, ball's oh, out. Ball out. Ball Goes to the 15 out. and taken down at the 10. Ooh, who was that? Number that was uh, Jaden Hester in on the pass rush on the, from the right side and may have got, dislodged the ball from the quarterback or he just dropped it. But regardless, the Vikings will take it as a big, big loss on first down. Yeah, There's that's, that's huge. Yards, I think. That was Stojanic and Forbes in on the uh, pressure as well. 25 seconds remaining in the first half. Yeah. Trips to the right, and they'll do a little bubble screen out to the right side. Uh -oh. He's going to reverse his field and makes uh, several Ooh, people miss. miss. Ooh, you know, his first game, and, yeah, you've had some scrimmages, and you've had some, but – there's nothing like having to make tackles. Yeah, for sure. On Friday night, that, that was number three, Casein uh, Goolsby. Goolsby, really nice run. Yeah, the, I mean, ooh, a timeout call with point three seconds left. I think the Vikings called this timeout to force Cameron to run one more play. Huh. Timeout taken by the Yeoman. Nope, by nope. the Yeoman. With point three seconds left on the clock, so. Yeoman say, well, you know what? Let's 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 see what else we can do here with the ball. Imagine right now over there on the Viking sideline, coaches are saying, nobody behind you. Mm -hmm. Keep them in front of you and no penalties. Exactly. Been a great half by the Vikings this far. Well, you, you know, you put up 27 points. Yeah, you put up you 27 know. points a bit, uh, against a team like Cameron. You gotta yes. you gotta feel you gotta feel pretty good, and and they've done it in different ways. See what Cameron does here. All right, so Lagavista playing pretty off the ball, but you know, at the same time, you don't want to be too off the ball. Yeah, everybody's playing. They're going to go play. deep down the field, and pass is intended for number four, Farrell Hemphill. Number six, Caleb Manjaras. I'm pretty sure when Coach Castle tells you nobody behind you, <laughs> yeah, exactly. nobody gets. He he kept he had five yards on the and almost ran it down. Great half, really great half. Vikings. I tell you what, up 27-17. You know your offense was able to do some things. Your defense helped, made some stands. Special teams showed up. Uh, yeah, you got to be good, good extremely happy with the first half. And now it looks like the Viking band is setting up for their first performance of the year. Well, it's just exciting, you know. Yeah. And, and and as a as a teacher, you know, you've seen uh, you know where we're all at of just yep. what's going to happen, what's going to happen, what's yes. going to happen, and uh, and it's been it's been hard. Um, and then you come out here on Friday night, and you're like, okay. Yes. Good. The kids have been working r wor really hard. Whether it's football, whether it's band, you know, whatever. They're 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 they have been working extremely hard for tonight. Right. This is the opportunity to show um, what they've got. And um, hey, guess what? This is the time. So congrats. That's it. I'm I'm just just uh, again extremely happy to be here. So uh, what we're going to do for the halftime show today is uh, just so you know again. We're going to hear from 3A Girls Coach of the Year, Rocky Palomino, here in a little bit, uh, coming off of a state championship. Uh, and then we uh, will – I'm going to I'm gonna let us um, – uh, we're going to watch the brand-new Laga Vista dance team. We'll, the uh, Valkyries. The Valkyries, yep. They're coming out on the field right now. and uh, Led by Wendy Phillips. Led, <laughs> he sh she stopped by the uh, – the office says she's so excited because she's. She, this has been a, uh, it's been a dream of hers for quite some time. It has, and uh, so glad that it's able to uh, to come to fruition. It's a word I was thinking of. Yeah, it's a good word. Fruition. It's a, it's a good word. You want to go film or you want to talk? I go. I, I you want to go? Yeah, you want to go film? Yeah, I don't want to talk. All right. <laughs> All right. So we're gonna. We're gonna switch seats here. Coach Hill is going to go film uh, right out, right out those doors, right over there. And we'll move my bag. Uh, no, it's it's actually right off, it's just straight out. Don't turn. Yeah.
Coach Rogers is going to take the uh, halftime off. Um, but we'll put Coach Hill out there so we can watch the Valkyrie in their first routine. There, there's Coach Hill. Excellent job by the brand new Valkyries from Lago Vista High School. Excellent dance routine. Next, we will go with the LVHS band. Let's hear what they got.
for the Viking Band are Peter McCoy and Adam Mothersall. Superintendent of Schools for Lago Vista ISD is Karen Webb. The Viking Band wishes to express their appreciation to the principals of Lago Vista High School, Stu Taylor and David Hintzentegger, for their continued support of the Viking Band program. We are sitting here with 3A Coach of the Year for Cross Country, Coach Rocky Palomino. First of all, congratulations on uh, on that. Now, when I say 3A, was that 3A girls coach? Did they separate it like that? Yeah, they separated um, boys and girls, so it was uh, 3A girls. That's that's pretty awesome. I mean, uh, so they give you like a million dollars, they just give you like a little certificate in the mail, or, you know, what, what do we got? It was definitely a, a certificate and a little <laughs> plaque. Um, you know, still waiting on the million dollars, though. Yeah, for sure, for sure. No, but I think that's really cool. I mean, so who votes on who votes on that? Um, that's kind of just the uh, the coaches. Not only you know the state championship kind of comes with the uh, coach of the year. Um, <laughs> sure. Status, so. Well, yeah, and we hadn't spoken since the state championship. So uh, congratulations on that one, y'all. Just uh, the state meet was. Amazing and so fun and so great. I mean, it was it was awesome. So congrats on uh, because that's 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 big. Yeah, it's it was it was a it was a great way to end the season. Um, you know those those girls worked hard and, and you know through all the all the quarantines and stuff that hit us throughout the year. So it was a great way to finish the season. Um. Okay. So now we're done. State championships in the book. We're turning the page. Um, and I know we've talked about it, but the, the, the teams are a little flipped 
this year in terms of strength and size and and all that. So so let's talk about what we uh, what we got coming up now. Let's we'll start on the girls side. Well, I mean the girls side, you know, we graduated them uh, five out of the six state champions. So um, it's it's a year definitely to rebuild. We have Allie who is coming coming back strong. I mean she's ready to go back to the state championship and and hopefully get the title this year. So she's she's ready to go. Um, you know, we also have a senior this year, um, Phoebe Gale, who's, who's, um, coming back from an injury from last year, but she's, she's going to be good. And then we have two freshmen who are brand new to the program. Um, but they're hard workers. They're, they're great, great students and great additions to the team. Yes. Um, and, uh, and still anybody wants to come run cross country. Oh, yeah. come on, let's go. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll take, <laughs> we'll take more, more athletes, you know, I mean, it's a good little, um, group of uh guys and gals that you know they make everybody feel welcome so we'll take you know we'll, we'll get some more runners out there hopefully awesome all right now we flip to the boys side which what are, what are we thinking on the boys uh, they're looking really strong they've been working all summer they've been working very hard and um you know we've we've had a couple of students come out that did not run last year for cross country so um and we actually have a full team last year we struggled to get a, a full team and now um now we have enough for a varsity and a JV, so it's it's definitely looking bright for the, the boys' side. Awesome. Um, and you've had one meet, and that was in Temple. Um, what were, Tell me some highlights from that meet. Um, well, we did sign up the boys uh, for the 5A, 6A division, so I think they came out looking at it, and they were like, well, I mean, we got 10th out of 19 teams, um, and they weren't too happy about it, but they didn't – look at the fact that they ran with those bigger schools who have a lot more runners. Um, so, but had they ran, I think, in the uh, 1A through 4A division, they definitely would have won it, and I don't think they see that. Um, uh, Nick ran um, a low 18. Brandon Baker, they ran a low 18 as well. Um, and, of course, uh, Braden Highlander also ran um, an 18. So we're, we're slowly getting those times down. Awesome. Awesome, and then you've got to meet bright and early in the morning in uh, Thrall, correct? Yes, we travel to Thrall uh, tomorrow morning. Um, and then, what um, do you know who you're going to see in Thrall? Any district teams? Any other three A teams? No, we're we're not going to see any um, of our district teams. We're trying to stay away from them, so we kind of um, just focus on on uh, you know hiding our runners and not letting them see how strong the team is. Uh, but there will be some four A schools there that'll that'll compete. Awesome. Um, and big news on a different sports front is what what do we got this year that um that we've never had before? Yes, we're uh, we're starting the soccer program this year, and I'm I'm really excited because I think uh, that'll get a lot of more students involved, and and I think it'll definitely grow the athletic program and and you know both girls and boys side. So pretty excited about uh, having a soccer program starting this year. That's awesome. So it'll be this year will be club essentially. Um, and then next year we'll move into actual UIL competition. That's kind of what we're looking at. Yes, that's what we're looking at. We're just going to be a club team this year, um, and then yeah, just go UIL once we, um, you know, we go into the next uh, follow season. Um, well, I know a lot of uh, I know a lot of our middle school kids are pretty excited about that. So that's awesome. Yes, yes, definitely. I'm ready for ready for them to get out there and uh, you know join the team. All right. Well, I know you got to be up early tomorrow, so I'll let you go. But uh, I uh, I appreciate you uh, stopping by and. Um, Good luck in the morning. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, we're back. back. Kind of. Yeah, there we go. We're back. <laughs> All right, so. Having a hard time uploading scores, so nobody <laughs> else is playing football in Texas tonight. <laughs> this is the only game. That's it. I mean, that's really, I you know, that's pretty. I uh, can't get anything to upload. Well, you know. There's not a lot of internet here in uh, Cameron, for sure. No. <laughs> um, you know, so that's that's all good. Okay. So just a quick volleyball update. Yeah, just. Yeah, can uh, well, uh, hey, go ahead. You give the updates of the halftime show. So go ahead, and you have I, you I have eleven minutes. So so stretch I, this one out. So we texted. Uh, a friend who has ties to the volleyball program, I guess is one way of putting it. Sure. And they have their plan. That, our volleyball. I'm team. just gonna say that sounds. A, he has a daughter. He has a daughter. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they're yes. playing in the Johnson City tournament right now. And if I can get my phone to work, it's like anything we want to use tonight's just being a pain. Um, 
Looks like they lost. They went two and one today, and they have. Looks like they're going to play either Cameron Marble Fall, or sorry, Lano or Blanco or Comfort tomorrow. Um, so with a chance to get to play Johnson City, who they lost to apparently in a tough match today. So a chance to get that one back. You know, it's so. it's, it's funny when you look at um, so Johnson City. Mm -hmm. You know, they drop down to, to two-way, yep. right? Nobody's moving to Johnson City. No, not yet. Yeah, not yet. They That's the next one. Past Blanco yeah. yet. Um, but I tell you what, their volleyball team is amazing. I don't know yes. how they do it, but their volleyball team is strong, they always. They really, really are. Really, really are, so... Our volleyball team, I think, is poised to have a really, really strong year as well. Yeah, you so. know, and that's I, – and, and I'll just – again, we'll say this publicly. If if we could have a, vo a volleyball coach, maybe not even Coach <laughs> Dumbell, right, because I know she's, you know, silently protested coming on the show, um, <laughs> you know, always. But, you know, Staniford, um, she seems like a great spokesman for the team. Um, and Coach McAdams. Coach McAdams. She'll be there anyways. Yep. So, um, you know, again, it's just a public shout-out to the volleyball coach. Cross country does it. <laughs> um, and so, well, you know. Well, speaking of Coach McAdams, would you believe I just received a text from her? <laughs> oh, really? And they play Lano tomorrow at 10 a.m. And let's see. And then they have, looks, looks like, a regular 18 bracket play tomorrow. Okay. So, well, I think I, volleyball teams, like I said, they are poised. They got a lot of kids back, a good mix of youth and some experience. They're poised to make a lot of noise. I didn't mean to rhyme that, but sometimes it's when you put a mic on, yeah, you just yeah, pull yeah. it without knowing it. <laughs> so, okay, <laughs> I'm gonna turn it off here in a second. Um, so it is. Um, yeah. I'm wondering uh, if she, if she's listening. So we were talking yes. about volleyball, and so, so next week, next week, yeah. will she be on right. the show? Yes or no? <laughs> and you know, I'll just I'll I'll take this opportunity to tell you that uh, you're on your own next week because I won't be here. Outstanding. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll Please. be in Kansas yeah. watching. Uh, watching. We'll be up in Hutchinson watching my son oh, run. That's outstanding. Um, a, yeah, cross country meet. So. Um, so I hope that's okay. I mean, you can <laughs> say no right now <laughs> on the air, and that's fine. Yeah, I'll put you with Domel and, and everything like that. That's fine. Right, so I know what I'm doing all week long. <laughs> Usually I like to spring that on people <laughs> later. And I will I, I will say, you know, football teams and everybody, they get a scrimmage, you know, mm -hmm. a scrimmage or two to kind of yeah. get the kinks worked out. Um I'm going to sit this in the classroom is kind of watching yeah. football games. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, no. Um, um Hey, text Coach Rogers and have him uh, zoom over to the new Viking ship. I think Coach Rogers' phone has melted. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe. Um, yeah. We we have a new tunnel, and um, that's uh, if we could see it, that would be. It's super yeah. cool. It's no longer Viking man. It is. It's a ship. A big. That's. I that, was going to okay. say big wooden ship, but it's obviously not wood. <laughs> you have to build it. Yes. You know, every in the. So I mean, you're looking at. Over 12 feet, I'd say the the top of the sail, 18 feet high, 20 <laughs> it's feet high. It's a monster. <laughs> um, did McAdams get back to you, by the way? Uh, let me see. She was responding to something. No, I think uh, well. I think she did the. I was going to text you this, and then, <laughs> and then no. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I've, hey, we. I've, I've texted Raj, but like I said. They've got hey, here we go. Look at that. Zoom in on there that there, Raj. Go. Look, at the, look at our there. new ship. How about it? That is pretty awesome. Folks, right now, just so you understand, what we, we're, we're, we can laugh about what Raj is going through. I'm sure it's not on purpose, but the visiting camera is posted right next to the outlet for the AC here at the press box, which is a tad bit warm. Because <laughs> yeah, because they got the AC cranked in here and it feels great. Raj is losing some water weight tonight. <laughs> I'll put it that way. He, he's got his sweat going. Well, hey, as you can see by the working scoreboard, thank you for uh, to Coach Boff for making that one work out for us. Oh well, so I tell you what, Coach McAdams has responded uh -huh. and she says, "Hey, 
the volleyball team also plays at home next week, so why don't folks make it a twofer on next Friday night and go out and support Thorndale. Or, or it's not Thorndale, yeah, sorry, the girls <laughs> against Thorndale. Let me get that right. And then go watch the football game after. So. Well, we'll only promote that if they come on the show. Yeah. <laughs> you know, otherwise we'll still promote still it, but it'll be fine. I can't get my stinking schedule thing to come up. We got no internet. How about I get text? I don't, yeah. It may be operator error. That's fine. Well, look, I mean. <laughs> That's true. I mean, what what app are you using? It, it w- the Texas the Texas Friday, Football Friday, which was my app from last year that yeah. had all my scores. And Coach McAdams says she's going to uh, tug on O'Domell and Stanford. Oh, we might just, yeah. So Good luck getting yeah. Domell to talk. And Coach McAdams can tug pretty hard. So I, if she says she's going to do it, I believe it's going to happen. I'm just so. going to say is that in my, in my radio experience, <laughs> I believe that Coach Domell is the only person – who I've never been able to get to join us. <laughs> like, everybody else is like, yeah, sure. Don't, don't make me talk, which I lie. And I'll say, yeah, you don't even have to talk. It's <laughs> fine. Which just come lie. up to the yeah, just come up to the booth. It's fine. You know, we are going to be different, though, um, because the, the press box, the softball press box <laughs> was, was really nice. Um, so you're going to have to climb Mount Viking. Yeah, now you <laughs> now uh, we're going to be broadcasting from the top of the press box, which is yep. great. It's a it's a better angle for us to see because we won't be looking through light poles and things like that. Yep. However. Um, yeah, we used to just make stuff up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. And now we've got TV, so we've yeah, got to right. be accurate with what's going on. Mm-hmm. And so, um, so that's that. But, you know, like I said, this is kind of our scrimmage tonight. So, so bear with us, um, you know, as we don't have Internet. Um, that's right. We didn't really realize, you know, showing up on time was important. <laughs> um, big, th- I, I do want to say big thanks to Coach Ba yes. for uh, because He's we we were saying as we were coming up, like, okay, let's see how awesome Coach Ba is. And um, he's and awesome. He's still, like still awesome. Still awesome. Like beyond awesome right. for uh, like getting everything set up for us. And we, uh, so we could you're the not man. Get out of Round Rock and Taylor. I mean, there was. That's like people are moving here yes, or something. It's I know. ridiculous. I just could not get out of Round Rock and Taylor. Um, it's like, Eric, go faster. BJ I can't. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's cars in the way. All right, so we got three minutes left in uh, in the halftime. Um, and I would say, what are the big things that you've seen in the first half? What well, do you like? You know, special teams. Big, I mean, we had explosive plays. I, that's really been the story. I think the first half's been explosive plays on both sides. You know, if you're the Vikings, you know, you had you had big score, uh, big plays get scores. Um, defense held deep in their own end zone, end zone, kept Cameron to a field goal early in the second quarter when Cameron had the momentum, and that was a big, which turned momentum back towards us, and we were able to go tack on a couple extra. So we've forced a turnover. Um, I mean, there's really a lot a lot to be proud of if you know to be happy about for the vikings in the first half of football um i think it's gonna be a wild second half having said that well for sure first half was big plays all over both The official called, and then I think we clearly saw him handed a $100 bill to <laughs> change his call on the field because I don't know how he changed his call. Yeah, I mean, but if you talk to any of the coaches, yeah, that, that, that still, um, that, that'll still burn them up a little bit. Yeah. Um, and uh, yep. so, you know, and, and but I think with that, the, the way that that offseason started for the football team, yes, well, that – that lit a fire, like, hey, we can be successful. We can make a deep playoff run, and let's go, right? They, those little things, 
that happened that made us lose that game. Mm-hmm. Let's correct that and let's go. And the, here come the Vikings out. They have unloaded from the ship. <laughs> That's right. Disembarked, I believe, is the term. Thank you. What's the other big word we use tonight? Um, fruition. Fruition, yeah. Mm. Fruition and disembarked. I don't know if that's spelled with two O's or a U-I. I think it's a L. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Vikings leading 27-17. to 17. Go over the scoring. The first score of the game was a, was a beautiful <laughs> touchdown pass. And the, uh, the Cameron Yo coach right now is, like, waving at his players to get out of the tunnel. And no one's, like, told them to come out of the tunnel. And everybody's going, there, there we go. There we go. <laughs> And that's, you know, as, as, as a coach, it's like, okay, listen, guys, we're here to play football now. We're not here to run out of the tunnel. <laughs> it's it's halftime. <laughs> okay, maybe this is showing a little age and camaraderie, but wait, why do we – you come out of the tunnel – to begin the game. I Why do we have to do it after halftime? I guess I'm, I'm, I'm full curmudgeonery with you. I guess when, you know, people have spent a, a pretty good chunk of change on the tunnels now, it's like, oh, hey, let's shot. use these twice a game now just to get our money's you worth. Ain't lying. All right. All right. Enough editorializing. Yep. Vikings will kick it off from your left to right on your radio dial that – None of you are probably listening to on the radio. Yes, sir. Yes, those are my wires. I'm sorry. Oh, well, don't <laughs> take these. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did you? Oh, here, you do. <laughs> All right, we're going to. <laughs> okay. All, all good? All good? All right, all right. Awesome. All right. And Gavarette with the kick. It's going to be a pooch kick, or a little deeper kick. It's going to be, I believe that's Fabian again. It's going to uh, pitch gonna it do to the reverse. And it's going to, he's got a good running room again, Eric. Oh, no. Oh, no. No flags, and that is going to be a touchdown around the left side by Hemphill Farrell. I think we've seen that before once tonight. Yeah. They set it up great, and they had a great wall blocking yeah, really, set up. And really good blocking. Yeah, they have run that to exception twice tonight, and unfortunately for the Vikings, not the way they wanted to start the second half, an explosive start for the Cameron Yeoman. Here comes the extra kick, or extra point, I'm sorry. Or the extra kick, it's fine. First first night for us. <laughs> right, so let's just keep As going well. back. This is our scrimmage, right? Yes. This is our scrimmage, we're okay. Kick appears to be good. Yep, that's, that's good. Yep. So, pretty quick. Yep. <laughs> I don't know if that's going to be the end of the scoring that we're going to see tonight, uh, but it is 27-24. I'll tell you what, the total yard yardage on scoring plays for both teams, with the exception of, I think, David Garcia's uh, one yard, a couple one-yard runs, every, every other play has come from well downfield. Big, big plays have been the order of the night, which first game of the year, that's kind of what you expect a little bit, yep. is some big plays to happen. So... It is not it's just the start of the second half. Uh, we're going to have more. I'm waiting for our first onsides at some point, Eric. You know both coaches are. The, the, you know, yeah, they've got it for sure. Yep. Yeah, I think the last time they. Uh, you got Helton and uh, Parsons. At that second level for the Vikings, they've got number 17. No, I don't have. Uh, no, it's Eli Simons and, um, oh, I was looking earlier. 23? No, I believe Card, Card was out there. Eli Simons, 23. Card was out there earlier. I'm not sure who's. Yeah, Card. Connor Card is at the second level where they pooched it last time. Okay. So let's see what happens. 
And here's the kick. That's going to be a little short kick down to the right side. He's going to land at the 20. Going to be fielded and makes yeah. one man miss, but not yeah. another. So that ball landed. It's kind of – it was in that in-between zone, and Ethan just didn't get a great read on it. And the ball had to – the ball landed, which allowed that coverage team to, to get down on them and minimal gain. So the Vikings will start – looks like they spotted at the 24-yard line there, Eric. So they did get the running game going at the end of the first half. Yes. So if the Vikings can get that going, looks like they got Parsons in there and I believe is that Garcia. Yeah, Yeah, it's a big backfield. Yep. Two in the backfield, one to the left, two to the right. It's a formation we haven't really seen in the first half. They will hand that to, He's no, gonna Bowen Saab's going to keep it himself. He goes across uh, the right side. It's going to be upended near the 25-yard line. No gain on the play. Good tackling right there. Bowen tried to make one man, man miss and uh, wasn't able to get by him. Minimal gain at best. Good pursuit from that Yeoman defense. Baron called and Ethan Helton split out to the right. I can't see my eyes are too old to see who's up on it's, the It's on pretty the sad, I know. I think it looks like Braden Smith out on the left. All right, Helton goes into the slot on the left side, and they will give that to Parsons. Parsons goes across the 25, 30. Good running play. Yep. About a six-yard gain. We'll go five-yard gain. Brings up third down and five. Well blocked right there for the Vikings. A big gain Parsons on second down. Makes third down manageable here from the, about the 29-yard <laughs> line. Okay. So. Well done by the uh, – Play by or the announcer here. He said that was taken down by the law firm Solomon and Solomon. Nice. <laughs> well done, Cameron. Yo. Two spread wide to the right, one to the left. That's going to be Garcia in the H back position. And they'll give that to Parsons. Parsons going to be. Oh. Oh. He's yeah, he looked slipping. like he was down, but he's going to be close. I think he's going to be a little yeah, bit looks short. Like, yep. Yard but short. The, about it. Eric, he's shown that. You know, we've seen him. We've had the. We've been able to get to watch him now for the last couple of years, and he's shifty. He's got mm -hmm. a low center of gravity, and he's able to make people miss. So we're looking at fourth and a long yard for the Vikings. I do believe the kicking team, is, the kicking units at well. No, no they're going to go gonna with go. the – Looks like Helton go with the big boy package. Helton split out left, and he's the punter, and let's see what they do. Short yardage, you're going to go for with Garcia. Garcia's he's got, it got a, a lot more. big hole big across game. the 40. Something went throwing that was white, not yellow. We don't know what that was. But the Vikings have the first down. Eric out to the 42-yard line. Good blocking by the Vikings. He had a, he wasn't touched for three or four yards. Big, big play. Gutsy call by Coach Phillips in his own in his own territory. Well, I think you know you see you have that formation, and you think, okay, if we're gonna get if we need to gain a yard, you're right. We're gonna gain a yard exactly with this right. formation. There's absolutely no reason we're not doing it. That's right. All Trips right. to the left, one to the right, one in the backfield. Here we go. And Bowen Staub drops back, drops back. He's got time. He's going to look oh, down the open. field. Gavin Wide Hester. open. Gavin Hester. Come on, Gavin. Hester at the 25, the 20, back. 15. Ball's oh, out. The ball's and out. That's what I was worried about. Ah. Well, you know, that is. Yeah. That is. He was he was gang tackled. Yeah. One person held him up, and then he had two people trying to yep. rip the ball out. And Gavin's just fighting. He's just fighting for yards, and he'll learn from that mm -hmm. as he goes. But I mean, he's just fighting for yards because he's he's a competitive competitive kid. Yeah. So unfortunately for the Vikings, it's a turnover down on to their uh, Cameron yard line. Cameron's going to take over on their own twelve. So both teams now have a turnover. All right, defense, here we go. You know, I will tell you, with it, that turnover was caused by Cameron Yo. Yes. That was not yeah. a, you know, an That's error hustling, that we, meet, that we made. That's finishing the play. Looks like a handoff draw again. Yep. Or I say a draw. I'll go with a draw. Oh, he's, he's oh, still. He broke free. And there goes Fabian. That number five, folks, is... Unbelievable. He, he was stood up. Yep. Stood up, but not wrapped up. And Yo has taken the lead on another big play. Fabian Bynum, I believe, is his 
third touchdown of the night, Eric. And, uh, yeah. Well, and you know what? Here's, here's, the, here's the question again, right? These are the questions that you want answered. Mm -hmm. How do you respond, right? As a team, how do you respond? Because there's eight minutes, 44 yeah. seconds remaining in the third quarter. So much football yeah. left to play. And you see that a lot sometimes well, where the play gets stopped up in the line of scrimmage. Nobody's able to really get a hand on mm -hmm. them. And that running back's able to sneak out, and that's exactly what happened there. And a huge play. That's that's two huge plays, right? Yeah. A, a a large a, a long t a long pass, fumble created on the tackle, and then an 80-yard touchdown turning around. All right. 31-27, Lagovis is coming with the ball, and now the coaches are like, hey, relax. It's okay. Yeah. It is okay. Hey, there's, it's 8.44 to go in a third. <laughs> there's so a lot of football. Yeah. I like how you're getting scores there. All right, so we got the Marion Bulldogs. Or the Hyde Park Panthers. Yeah, they gave it to them 64 nothing. I think that's it. Uh, let's see, going through Gerald Cougars up 20 to nothing over the Northeast Raiders. One of our co-workers, uh, who friends works there as a football coach? At Gerald or Northeast? Miss oh. Witten. Oh, that's right. Maynard Newtick, still struggling. Getting stung losing by the right now. <laughs> Losing 32 <laughs> nothing to Caldwell. Academy Bumblebees up 24-20 over the Rogers a Eagles. rivalry game mm -hmm. right there, two teams real close to each other. Let's see. Marble Falls, 14 to nothing over the Lehman Lobos. Salado, 21 nothing over Troy. Mm, that's impressive. Yeah. Hey, and there's the kick. It's going to go the left like side. It's going to go, go out, out of bounds. bounds. Logan Parsons let it go out of bounds. Flag Check goes up. Bounds. Is that called a legal procedure? Sure. Sure. Why not? Tonight it is. <laughs> it's our scrimmage night, right? <laughs> we don't have our long-time flag or referee Spotter, interpreter yeah, exactly, yep. and Rafael Vitolas, who apparently left us for greener pastures. Something like that. Yeah. Uh, coming up, we've got Teague at home next weekend, and then the next weekend we have Smithville. Uh, let's see. Smithville right now is beating the Cedar Creek Eagles 27 to nothing at half. Comfort, Bobcats or Deer, depending <laughs> on the gender of who's playing. But not Deer with antlers. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Laga Vista comes out. Two to the left, two to the right, one in the backfield. And they're going to hand that to Parsons. Parsons is going to be gobbled up yeah. at the 30-yard line. Just can't get through that line right now. A minimal gain. If he is, there's a, you know. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> I under, I, now I understand what that was. Okay. All righty. I'm going to. We got second and long. Same formation. Hey, and give us the Parsons again across the oh. 30. Run down from behind in really a good tackle because Logan could have run for a long time. Play almost really developed the way the Vikings wanted to. Third down and seven for the Vikings. Third down and seven, and if you're the Vikings here, a first down is yeah. critical. Yep. All right, on the offensive line for the Vikings, we got number 75. That's Apollo Kim, 72. Davin Zerovitz. Right. That's the right side of the line. We'll go left side of the line here in a moment. And they're going to fake the oh, jet Helton's sweep. Open. He's got it. He's got Helton He's down the middle. It. And Joe, what a catch. A catch by Ethan, Ethan Helton. Helton. Eric, I tell you what, I thought that ball was overthrown. Ethan had a go-get-it step right there. Yes. Because it was one of those where he's so open, it's probably almost a hard throw for the quarterback. Because what happened is he broke open in the post, wide open in the middle of the field, and 
Bowen just threw it up there to let him run under it, and it looked like Bowen put a too much on it. But Ethan Helton just went into another gear yeah. and laid it out and made a highlight catch. Incredible. To the left, to the right, one in the backfield. I'm going to have to stand over your shoulder here. Yeah, no worries. <laughs> Oh, they're going to. Yeah, looks like Ethan was still jacked up. And, uh, <laughs> they were, may have left a little they early. They were pretty fired up about <laughs> that. <laughs> I'll bring up a first and 15. <laughs> well, I had to say that I thought he had a trubisky that throw where you have a <laughs> wide open receiver, huge play, and he just he launched it a little bit too much, and then uh, – I'm not used to seeing a wide receiver make that extra effort for an amazing play. No offense to you, Allen Robinson. But <laughs> two to the left, two to the right. All right Owen Saab has Logan Parsons in the backfield to his right. He's looking, looking, and he's going to throw to Hester probably, High. Probably a good thing, too, because I think we were looking for a uh, bubble screen from for Hester to run under and it was pretty much blown up. Yeah, it was pretty well Yogi diagnosed. Thing, so, we'll bring up a second down at 15. All right, so left side of the line now we're going to have number 55 Jackson Humkey at left tackle, 52 Roy Garcia. Mhm. Mm yep. Yeah, you come do this, Stunner. Yeah. What are you doing tonight? <laughs> you could be spotting. David Ramirez is our center. Trips to the left, one to the right, <laughs> one in the backfield. Ooh, good Bowen's blocking. got time. He's going to step up in the pocket. He's looking, looking, looking. And nice slings throw. it. Is Great that, catch and throw. Is that Braden? Looks like, is that 15? Or is that Hester? That looks like Braden Smith. I'll tell you what, Bowen Saab, great job of keeping the play alive, buying time, buying time, and a good strong throw to the sideline to Braden Smith. And now you've got a th third and manageable, and really the Vikings have shown already tonight that they will go for it in the right yardage. So this is probably two down territory here for the Vikings. For sure. As Wyatt Forbes checks into the uh, game at left tackle. To the left, two to the right, one in the backfield. Come on, Logan. Logan Parsons makes a man miss. He goes to the 15, the 10, still moves. He's at the 5. Shifty, man. Well, and that's, you know, that is Logan Parsons' oh, I thought I heard flag it. on the play. Yeah, I heard, I'm looking for it. The flag is all the way down by the tackle. So, could be an Wait for the call. A face mask or something like that. If you're a Vikings fan, that's what you're hoping. But that's what Parsons can do, right? Yeah. So, he can make one man miss and then accelerate into a huge gain. He's got good balance. It looks like the Vikings are walking the wrong way, so. Yep, block in Oof. the back. So that's going to be first down. So, yeah, so the penalty happened beyond the line of, or beyond the first line to gain. So we get the first down, like you said, but the ball has moved back, so. So bring, it'll be. After some trigonometry, if we get the ball. <laughs> yeah. On the okay, so it'll be first down and 10 at the 17 yard line. All right, here we go. Two to the left, two to the right. Helton's going to go into motion. He'll be in the backfield now. And they will give that to oh, Parsons. Parsons has a big hole across the middle nice at the Logan. five. Bounces off a man. Touchdown. Touchdown, Vikings. Great balance right there by Logan. Great play design. Big hole opened up by the line, up by the line in the middle of the field. Logan <laughs> bounced off yeah. the tackle. Great balance and ran it into the end zone. Great answer by... Eric, great answer by this Vikings team, showing a lot of guts tonight. Well, and, you know, it's you come into this game and you, you just want to know, is this going to be too big, right? Is yep. is, 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 is the situation going to be too big? They're showing her up for the I, fight I, tonight. I, All right. Let's get this snap off and let's get this the kick through. Here we go. I don't know what we're waiting there, Okay. I guess the R guy wasn't in the right position. <laughs> and snap, hold, and the kick. Look good to me. Is good with 5.15 remaining in the third quarter. La Vista retakes the lead 34-31. Great answer by the Vikings. 
Great answer by the Vikings right there on a, on a drive they needed to do something with. For sure, right? That was yeah, the that, answer. Yep. The momentum was clearly on the side of the Yeoman right there after some huge plays to start this half. So great job by the Vikings. Little district news tonight. We've got the Lano um, Yellow Jackets, Dobbert, Hornets? Yeah, they're the Yellow Jackets that yeah. are orange. Yes. The orange kind. They are winning 10 to nothing against the uh, Gatesville Hornets at halftime. Battle in the wasp nest, huh? <laughs> That's all I got. Yeah, uh, thank you. Yeah. All right. What kind of money you want to put on this kick is not going deep. Yeah, I feel pretty good about that. <laughs> All right, third quarter, 5.15 left. 34-31, something tells me that's not going to be the final score. <laughs> just just throwing it out there. You want to take odds on that? You know what they're not doing this year, which I don't miss, is they're not doing the fake onside kick every single time. <laughs> so far. <laughs> oh, oh there. and there's a little bounding ball. Oh, boy. A little squib kick. It's going to be fielded at the 37-yard line. I can't remember if that's Goolsby. So, yeah. He knew the Vikings were just going to – they're not going to – they're going to try to limit number five's touches as much yeah. as they can. That young man's had one heck of a night already. All right, Viking defense, here we go. Gonna be 42, David Garcia lined up at right end on the defensive line. Looks like 70. Cole Mikulik. Oh, there's some uh, movement. It seemed like that play just took a little longer than it should have to start, you know? Wyatt Forbes is going to be at the uh, defensive tackle spot and... 99, Aiden Storjanic will be on the left side, left defensive end. Right, Number eight, defense. Gage Mayhew. Here we go. Quarterback on the right side. First and 15. And they will hand that ball off up the go. middle. Number 42. Didn't miss him that time. David Bryson, Garcia. Bryson, uh. David Garcia converged on that yeah, time. Or was that Bryce or Miles? Uh, that was Bryce. Okay. Bryce went low. Hair going Garcia right went high. And they're about the same size. <laughs> Linebackers tonight, number three, Bryce Jackson. Number seven, Connor Karg. And number number four, Miles Topo. Miles Topo. All right, here we go. Two in the backfield now. Two in the backfield now. Two to the left, one to the right. And they're going to hang it. They're going to fake the handoff, and they're going to hit oh. the post up the middle. It's at the 50, 45, yep. 20, and that's a touchdown. Folks, it's almost, Eric, almost the same play the Vikings ran in the first half that they, Bowen hit Ethan Helton on. It's a run pass option. Receivers able to make a good route, get a step. And, Eric, that ball was on the money. Yep. And, yeah, you hit a run receiver in stride, and they're tough to catch. So That was number 88, Trejan Wilcox, the junior wide receiver for Cameron Yo. Cameron with yet another explosive play on offense. <laughs> Do you want to thank the uh, Lagavista band? for playing the song that's going to be stuck in my head for the rest of the night. I'm trying to, yeah. <laughs> and flag on the play. Flag that's going to be a uh, a legal procedure or false start offsides against the defense. Hopefully they'll decline and we'll move on. Tell Pete to teach him some ZZ Top or some <laughs> Stevie Ray, which I don't know how that would sound. but I think it would sound great. <laughs> All right. That penalty is going to be declined at 38. Yeah. We're talking about the band, Pete and Mr. Adam, they just they do an outstanding job with them. They do. 
you know, it's hard, you know, with with everything that every program has been through mm-hmm. and all the questions, all the questions, all the questions. Band is in the same situation. Um, and so, you know, for them to, to for them to keep everybody together and sound as good as their sound tonight. It's Great job, boys. Yeah, it really is. Gentlemen. 423 in uh, left in the third quarter. Long third quarter. Three scores from Yo, one score from the Vikings. You may just drop me off in thrall tonight. (laughs) That cross country mate's going to come early tomorrow. Hey, give a shout out tonight. It's a long walk from the uh, school back to my (laughs) car, though. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> I just tell Mr. Webb you're gonna hold on to the SUV this weekend. It's fine. I just parked it at Whataburger. Yep. <laughs> I put the key behind the wheel. Nobody will find it there, <laughs> or, put, uh, or in the gas tank. Yep. Nobody looks there. Nobody looks there. That's that's, that's foolproof. <laughs> All right, Cameron, kicking off, going from right to left. And here's a kick, a short kick. It's going to be fielded. Is that Parsons. And. Um, that is number 14, Hester. Hester's going to be tackled at the 32-yard line. It's a decent. Good job getting it out there, Hester Gavin. with a 10-yard return for the Viking 33. First down and 10, Lago Vista. So All right, Coach well. Phillips, I mean, I think he would like to kind of control the ball right here, you know, and kind of eat out the rest of this quarter while they move down the field. And just try to keep that potent offense of Cameron off the field. For sure. You know, so retake the momentum mm-hmm. by dominating the line of scrimmage, that's right. right? That's yep. I think that's that's a that's a goal here. We'll see if they can do it. They're gonna come out with trips to the left. They have number eleven, Ethan Helton on the outside on the right side. Bowen looks, takes a snap, and flag on the play. Delay a game. Delay a game on Lago Vista. Out of back, the Vikings up five yards. First down and 15 for Lago Vista. All right, first and 15, here we go. Same. Three to the left, one to the right, one in the backfield. And they'll give that to Parsons. Boy, he was – that play was blown up from the beginning, and Parsons was lucky to gain any positive yeah. yardage on that one. Gain two or three. They're really shooting, you know, really being aggressive on the run defense and, and going it. If he can break through, Eric, he's, he's going to run a while. For sure. Gavin Hester. It's going to be in the slot. Traffic, you need to move your truck or it will be towed. That wasn't our uh, license. I, hope not. I, don't, I don't <laughs> hope not. Baron Calden is going to be on the uh, right, uh, left side, excuse me. Bowen's looking, looking, looking. He's going to go to Ethan Helton down the right side, and it is almost intercepted. You know, they had a... Oh. Uh, Good field position. Got cramps going on here with with Ethan, which you kind of figured that would happen at some point tonight. <laughs> He's trying to get up and walk it off. That yep. is pain, folks. Oof. It's, it's a humid, muggy night, as they usually are this time of the season. Yep. And Ethan has been on the field almost all night <laughs> long. A lot, so yeah. It's going to probably won't be the last time we see that from a foot from a – yeah, you know, tonight. saying that, you know, I haven't oh, seen any, which is surprising, yeah, but yeah. maybe that will be the uh, the first yeah. of many as we uh, as we go toward the fourth quarter now with 3.32 remaining in the third quarter. 38-34, it's a back-and-forth affair here tonight. As these two, uh, uh, you know. Oh, okay, well. <laughs> <laughs> they're they're making announcements for a GMC yes. pickup and uh, somebody decided to park in somebody's front yard. <laughs> <laughs> Trips to the left, one to the right, one in the backfield, and Bowen's looking, 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 and he is going to be Ooh. sacked. Oh yeah. no! I, I, he he almost he almost snuck out of there. Yep, almost was able to get out, and 
Vikings going to have to punt right now. But the problem is your punters, I want to see who goes back to kick because Ethan just, Ethan has been kicking. Yep. So this is a big kick right now for, let's see who they send back there. Is that Ethan? No, Ethan was coming out, and then they said, no, Ethan, we're good. Just yeah. keep, no, oh. There was Bowen, and now there's back to Ethan. Yeah, it's back to Ethan. Ethan's like, I'm good. Good job. I'm there, good. Doc Brown. I'm stretched. Must have put that soccer spray or whatever on him. <laughs> Ooh, High job, snap, Ethan. and Ethan's going to kick. Nice good kick. kick. Going to land at the oh, 45, take a Cameron bounce. It's going to go to midfield. Yep. All right, so Yo get the ball just on the other side of the 50 in the Lago territory. So defense got to stand up here. Yeah, this is a big one, right? I mean, again, not even close to uh, end of the game, but yep. you feel like this is a – it's a big this one. This is a big one. Because it's been back and forth, back and forth. Yep. And if, if Cameron's able to put, make this a two score game, well, you know, in a game like this, that's, that's big. Split backfield, handoff up the middle, and that is number five. He's not only is he fast, he's big. He's able to run through a tackle. Fabian and, uh, Bonham on the run. He's a senior a running back. Get a decent little, and there's our second bit right there. As we thought we'd see this second half. I hope that just cramps for the young man, I hope. So. Yeah, it's his. It's his muggy night, folks. Uh, that's where you, you know, you start stretching the calf. Yeah. And well, once they start, it doesn't seem like they stop. Well, and, and you know, you know. You wake up in the middle of the night with, and you feel your calf cramping, and yep. I mean, you're when you're not doing anything athletic necessarily. You're just sleeping, yep. but happens even then. And that's and that's number five, Mr. Bynum for uh, Cameron, who's had quite the night so far. So, yeah, he's walking off the field. He's like, huh? I'm huh, just yep, just cramping. So we got second and six. All right, ball is at the Laga Vista 46-yard line. Two spread wide to the right, one to the left, two in the backfield for quarterback uh, number seven, Ryan I hand it off. Munoz. I can't tell who it was to, but it was about a two- or three-yard gain. Yeah, just a lot of Vikings in on that tackle. You know, I think Cameron's wants well, Cameron wants to do what we exactly. uh, what it's are well, they're going to the offense is very similar. Yeah, and it's they like, are going to just number thirty five was the ball carry was at Fabian Salomon, who's back off as it looks like we're well, going to go no back or no thirty six in the backfield. And that is Keyshawn Johnson, who's he is not small. No, he's not a scat back. We're going to throw. And they dish that outside, and ball complete to number two, Jaden Sanchez. Gage Mayhew and Bryce Jackson in on that tackle. Well, Put a pretty be good a hit on them. It looked like they were almost knocked the ball out, but it's going to move move the chains, and the clock's going to continue to tick with about a minute to go in the half. Or the, sorry, in a quarter. Ball's at the 36-yard uh, line. Cameron not in really any hurry right now is – is yeah, they, agent, I think they're in the same – everybody's in the same boat. It's a muggy night. And two to the left, two to the right, one in the backfield. And they will 36. give it to number 36. Looks like – Keyshawn Johnson. Bryce Jackson tripped him up at the line of scrimmage. He's going to fall Keyshawn forward Johnson for – let's see where they spot it. Yeah, now. gain of two. Bryce Jackson Coming probably gives up Eric 50 pounds minimum to that guy. <laughs> uh, I mean, yeah. That's a big young man running the ball. I wonder if this uh, Keyshawn Johnson ever says, <laughs> like, hey, give me the ball. Give me the dang ball. <laughs> like, if somebody were to go up to him and say that, like, would, he <laughs> <laughs> he would he know what we were talking about? <laughs> and nine seconds ago, this will be the last play of the quarter if we get there. Oh. 
Keyshawn Johnson again. Minimal gain was tripped in the backfield, looked like stumbling and Keyshawn fell right into the defense. And here we go to the fourth quarter. Yep. Vikings down by four, 38 to 34. So. By the way, for anybody who doesn't know what we're talking about, there was an NFL wide receiver, mm. Keyshawn Johnson, That's right. who wrote a book. That's right. And the book was Give Me the Dang Ball, but it wasn't dang. Mm -hmm. It's a pretty good title of a book. Yep. Is he from USC? Probably. I think that's where he played. All right, going to the fourth quarter. I think you've seen a lot of things that you're happy about, a lot of things that, you know, the, there's, there's hope for this fourth quarter. Be like, okay, let's finish it, right? We've made a heck of a ball game. Let's go. Well, first game of the year, you got muggy conditions. It's it's hot. Both teams are playing a lot of kids, or I say playing a lot of kids. A lot of uh, they're playing a lot of kids both ways. And so it's going to be whose legs can really kind of hold up in this quarter, I believe. So. Well, Ethan Helton's back out. He's going to be at the cornerback spot. Got Karg. Stand over here behind you again. <laughs> Bowen Staub. Big third down here. Come on, boys. Gavin Hester back at safety. Staub and Hester. Two to the left, two to the right. And get, look for that slant oh, yeah. again. Yeah, they're going to get a penalty on that one. You know, there was contact, but it – there was contact. I'm not sure that ball was catching. Yeah, and that's that's the hard contact. part about that. There was, there was contact. Yep. Well, I, I think it would have been incomplete if. Uh, yep, that's an automatic first down for yep. Cameron Yo. Big one right, right there. Well. Ball down to the 21. Going to go. Uh, so. Let me go check on our video. Maybe Rogers melted uh -oh. out there. Let me go see. Okay. Got two in the backfield, two to the right, one to the left, and they will hand that to number five. He's going to make some men miss. He's going to go past the 15-yard line now. Bynum the ball carrier, gain of six. That'll bring up Bynum, tough running. For the on first down, that's a really good gain. You gain six yards, it gives you plenty of options now as we go to second down. Cameron's going to come out again, two in the backfield, two spread wide to the right, one to the left. They've slowed down their offensive attack for this series, and they're going to jump. That's the right tackle jumped offsides. And that's tough, right, because you have, just, you have second down and four. You've got options, options, options. And now you go back to second and nine. Ball starts the call. Second down and nine for the Yeoman. All right, second down and nine. Got one, uh, two in the backfield. They're going to have Johnson and uh, Bynum. Two to the right, one to the left, and they will give it to Johnson, who's going to barrel forward near the 15-yard line. We'll go to the 17-yard line. He gained three on that play. Big third down play here. Third down and six. And I don't know if you're Cameron here. If this is, I, I would think this would be two down territory. Two to the right, one to the left, two in the backfield. Same formation, Bynum and Johnson. And they will give that to Bynum. Nice tackle behind the line of scrimmage. Loss of one. Coach Hill. Doing some technical work out there. Well done, sir. Line on the ball carrier. No gain on the play. Make it fourth down and six for the Yeoman. There we go. All right, we're back on. How'd, how'd, how'd you fix it out there, Coach Hill? Technical capabilities. Well Rallies. done. I'm super proud of you. Two to the right, two to the left, one in the backfield. That's Bynum 
He's going to be to the quarterback's left. They're going to look, look, look. Come on, come on, come on. He's going to roll to his right. He's looking for the end zone. Yes, throws it out of the back go. of the end zone. No flags no on flags. the play. Way to go, defense. Way to go. That is a turnover on downs. Yeah, we got what we needed. Yeah, yep. Defense finds a way to bow their neck. That is a... Uh, you know, gutsy call there, 38-34, four-point game. You kick a field goal, you go up by a touchdown, yep. or you, uh, you you know, you don't – yeah, you go up by a touchdown. It's one of those, but if you can go up by two scores in a game like this, that's a big deal. So, I, you know, I can understand why they would pull that trigger. So. Yeah, it's, it's one of those things. If you make it, you're a genius. Yeah. If you miss it, everybody it's still second a, it's still guesses. still a one score yep. back and forth, so I don't know. I think it was a – uh, Gutsy was, call. Yep. All right, here we go, guys. To the left, to the right, one in the backfield. I'll hand that Come to Parsons. Logan. Parsons makes go. a man Come miss, on. and he gets Good past tackle. the 20. Yeah, solid tackle. That was a gain of, we'll go four. Could have been much more. Ah, looks like another cramps. I tell you, you know, that was that was a, we say, good, you know, it was a four-yard gain and a good tackle because if that young man doesn't tackle, he's, oh, yeah. uh, Logan's, Logan's got a pretty good chunk on the first down. You know, and cramps are starting to show their show themselves this evening in the fourth quarter. I do uh want to give my mom a uh, shout out. Thank you for calling. Uh I again shows me that you're not listening, but that's fine. <laughs> it's fine. She's probably doing something with one of her other kids. <laughs> one of her other favorite children. <laughs> but we don't, you know, we don't keep track. Video's back up and running there, folks, so. Yeah. Who? Let's hope this battery lasts. Was it, was it a battery it, issue? Yeah, I think the battery had sweat all the power out. <laughs> so <laughs> we had to put a new one on. Ooh. Oh, Parsons yeah. is going to be wrapped up and hit immediately at the line yeah. of scrimmage. Big Maybe loss of a yard. Big number 74. I don't see who that is because you have it on size 4 font on your computer. <laughs> <laughs> so. It's because my eyesight is so good. I can read that perfectly. Colby Arnie on the tackle. Big play for the there, Yeoman I'll defense. Make, I'll make this bigger for you, not for me. <laughs> I don't need that. Yeah, that's be All right, here we that's go. way better. Let's go, boys. Trips. Oh, oh they got a free, free play. play. Bowen Stobbs going to go downfield. Ethan Helton complete at the 40. Ball, 30. Knockdown oh. inside the 20 to the 15 yard line. Boy, he threw that up just, I guess, like you would coach it. Free play. Throw it up. Ethan runs under it. And another big play for the Vikings. All right, we'll see if the uh, the referees are going to get this all scored away. Yeah, it was uh, offsides against the Yeoman declined by the Vikings. Vikings are in business on that big play. Looks like the ball spotted on the 15-yard line. Huge pass connection right there from Staub to Helton again. Well, how smart is yeah, that for Bowen awareness. Staub, right? Uh, just awareness. to be aware, this is your first varsity game that first you're starting. First start as yeah. a quarterback, uh, yes. And... Uh, you know, you there's so much going on, right? That's right? And you're playing against a high level defense and to just be like, hey, you know what? I got a penalty. I'm gonna chuck it up. All right, boys, that's two to the left, to the right, one in the backfield, they'll give it to Parsons. Parsons goes across the fifteen and he is wrapped up near the ten. A gain of about three on that play. Yep. Went through one door, closed, tried to go through the other and uh was able to get some positive yards there. Yeah, gain of three. As the clock now is about to run under eight minutes, so as it gets late in the fourth quarter, we'll start keeping an eye on that. Vikings are being very deliberate here, not in too big a hurry. Right, because it's yeah. – Yeah, it's – A successful Viking defense is having yes. Cameron Yo off the field, the offense off the field. Trips to the right. And they'll give it to Parsons again. Good it goes across move. the 10, 5. Taken down at about the – they'll mark him down at the 4. Off, off, sorry. They will They will move the chains for a first down, first and goal now. 
offensive line doing some work right there. Logan had a great hole to run through, makes his first cut, and uh, he's a great, great couple of plays back-to-back for the Vikings as cramps are starting to ramp up again. It's nice to see the Vikings get some ground game going because you know Coach Phillips loves to get that going. Well, for sure, right? That uh, everything is predicated from making uh, that ground we've game. Watched the last few years, and he he likes he you know he loves to just run that ball. All right, boys, we got to cash this in. Looks like Garcia is going to be back there. Yeah, this is a. Go. Looks like the Connor Cargs. Yeah, they're going to the big, big setup here. Yeah, and we've got to talk to uh, Coach not Odin, Phillips. Right? Yeah, it's, it's not the Odin it's not package Odin, anymore. So we got to come up with a new name, or so. Something tells me it already has we a new name. Carg and Hill <laughs> and Helton. We got Helton out wide right. to the um, left. Oh. And oh, wow, Garcia David is Garcia. going to be. In the end zone for a Viking yeah. touchdown. David Garcia just, I tell you what, physical run right there, Eric. For sure. And, and you know, I'll just say this. If if you are, you know, you're going to be watching film uh, yeah. on, on, and how do you, you're going to have to come that's up a with big, a, you're going to have to come up with a plan to stop that play, and that's, yep. a, that's a tough one. Well, that's saying, they ran, you know, he had a similar moment in the first half where it was one-on-one. -on -one where he got held short, he did not get held short this time. <laughs> exactly. He, he made he made sure he finished that one. And the kick Vikings is up, and the kick is good. Uh, Vikings. Back up three. Here we go. 41-38. Seven and a half to go. It's been a, it has been a fun ball game to call. It really, really has. Well, for sure, you've had great plays. Special teams, offense, defense. You know, it's that old cliche, this one's going to come down probably to the last team to ha have the ball in their hands, so the way this game's going. Well, so let uh, let Cameron take the ball for about two minutes and then give us the ball. We'll run out of the clock, no problem. So last time we kicked a little squiver, so let's see how Cameron anticipates to see what they do. I don't see number five on the field, so... I've got number ah, actually, no. Is that him? Yeah. Is that five or six? Looks like they Will looks like they put number five in the middle of the field short. So that's been a, that's an adjustment. Yeah, five's right there. Oh, he's off. He's off the field. Okay. Yep. My old eyes, I can't tell the difference between five <laughs> and a six. No. Got Hardman number thirty up at the twenty-five yard line. That is number two. All right. Looks like he's going to kick it on the ground again. That's how he set up last time. Let's see what happens here. Yep. Squid. That's a low line drive. Ooh. Takes a nice bounce. It's going to go to the E15. They're going to fake the reverse. Not going to get it. And he's going to go to the 30, 40, Ooh. and big hit, and he's going to keep Ooh. on going. He's going to do his own Got reverse. A flag on the play. We do have a flag on the play. So we'll see if it's a. He's going to go. Wow. That is Farrell Hemphill. What a run. That'll be his second of the night. We'll see which way this call goes. There's two flags on the play. We got one flag back on the Viking side of the on the Yo side of the field about the 38 and one on the 28 of the Viking side. So Boy, you know, that's hard uh when So I think I just saw a holding signal from one of the officials, so uh this is going to be coming back it looks like if you're a Viking fan, that's what you're hoping. Personal foul. Is that? And we're going to go chop block. That one's declined. Yeah. Hold. Holding. Yeah. So it's. So we're going to go ten yards from the, from the 38, 38. So it's going to take it back to the 28, I believe, Eric. So, all in all, if you're the Vikings, you'll take that. Maybe just kick it out of bounds. <laughs> I <tell you. laughs> because I know what they were. You know, it was a good effort. Like kick it low. But it just bounced perfectly to Hemp Hill. And it did. And I tell you, they got some athletes back there that if you don't wrap them up with that initial hit, they can they can do some things. All right. So the ball is going to go back. 28. 
to the 28 and a half yard line. All right. All right, here we go. Come on, Vikings. Let's get off the field again. Eric, you know these kids are tired, but it's game one of the season. Yeah. You know, this is a big one to walk away from with, uh, yep. with the W for both of these teams. Three spread wide to the right, one to the left for Cameron Yo. There's the snap. They're going to hand that up the middle. Oh, and what oh, a oh, hit oh, by oh. number 42. David Garcia, have a ball game, son. Sure. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome. He got into the backfield in a hurry. And, and cramps. Yeah. Port that, you know. That's Bynum again, who yeah. has who has touched the ball a lot and scored a lot. Mm -hmm. The young man's had one heck of a night, and the cramp bug has just got him. Looks like, and yeah, he can. The young man's frustrated. Yeah, he's uh, dis he's displaced. He just, he just wants <laughs> the ball, and his his leg won't work with him. All right, Cameron, you're making some substitutions as we go. Six thirty-five remaining in the ball game. 41-38, Vikings in the lead. I'll make that adjustment to the uh, Viking band sounding good. Going to throw, Eric. Going to look for the bubble screen. Oh, broke a tackle. Broke. All right, says so Goolsby. Broke a couple tackles and pretty decent gain about, what would you say, about eight, nine yards. Yeah, so because third and manageable here. Yeah, they go to the 35, and, yeah. you know, the Vikings were, were – grabbing and yeah, trying to grab were, for the ball. They were close to blowing that play up, but tough tackle. Tough tackle number 30. And All right, third uh, down and four. Big play for both of these teams here as we go yep. under six minutes left of the ball game. Two spread wide to the left, two to the right, one in the backfield. Come on, boys. And they're going to try a little. Oh, no. Oh, double move. Oh, oh my boy, goodness. Boy, that one hurts. Ethan Helton bit on the double move, and we got lucky. Wilcox had a wide open yeah. touchdown, and you see that. Yes. Well, it's almost too easy of a catch. Well, they've run that little uh, slant from the outside there several times tonight very well, and Ethan bit on it, and they had it. And per perfect play call. Yeah, great play call, and just the young man just didn't quite pull it in. Hey, for the Vikings, though, you'll take it. You know, so it's fourth and about four. You, you know, Vikings, I don't think you can sell out on punt here because. Yeah, for sure. Play, you know, play safety. And somebody's got to delay a game, though, so that's going to, unless a timeout was called, let's see what they call here. Flag on the field. I don't know if they're going to give them the timeout or not. It looks like they're conferring. Or maybe the play clock didn't get reset right. Who knows? So doesn't look like there's going to be a – yeah, they're going to wave off the delay yep. game. And Flag waved off. All right, so, we'll so they're lined up to punt here. Yeah. But with 539 remaining in the ball game, down by three. I don't know. Well, well, they are going to kick. Good kick. Wow, they. Um, I don't know what just happened, Eric. Ethan called for a fair catch, and oh my goodness, looked like he tried uh, to get out of the way of the ball. Well, and they're, and they're saying the ball hit him, went down the it, field. It did hit him, but he he was also. Uh, I, I think it was. I think he was looking for a inter catch interference. interference. That's exactly right. And that's exactly what Coach Phillips is saying yeah. right now. I don't know how you not don't make the the, the you can't contact the <laughs> yeah. you can't contact the receiver when he calls a fair catch and he was contacted. So I mean, you can't even even if he doesn't make a fair catch, no. you can't hit him before he catches the ball. So a huge break for the Yeoman right there, as they get the ball now, essentially on the Vikings 16, 15, 16 yard line. Boy, that's a yeah, that's a tough break. That's a that's a real tough break. That is a tough break. Two in the backfield. They're gonna do a little bubble screen there, oh. and he's gonna miss a, a, a make somebody miss. That's a touchdown. Yep. And that's Goolsby. 
and just getting players in space, and we weren't able to make the tackle in the fi open field. It would have been a good tackle had he made it, but made a cut, and just like that, Cameron goes back up on top. So Cameron with a chance to see if they kick the – they're going to look like they're going to set up to kick the field goal, but go yep. back up four with 5.21 to go. So, Boy, that's a – that's tough if you're the Vikings. That's tough right there. That's yeah, just, it, it, you know, you see that. We might have left a little early yeah. right there. <laughs> Blocked the <laughs> kick. <laughs> Bowen's, Bowen's job has been trying to anticipate that snap all night. So what does Cameron do here? They try to go for it. Looks like they're going to kick it again. Yep. Or they're set up to kick, so we'll see what happens. They're set up to kick. And the kick is up, and yeah, it's good. good. They'll get a... They'll get stop again on the offsides, but <laughs> they'll decline that one. All right, 521 remaining in the ballgame. 45-41, Cameron Yo retakes the lead. Uh, Cameron Yo retakes the lead. Yep. All right. This has been a night of answer. Can you answer? Can you answer? Both offense yeah. and defense. And now it's your turn. You know, it's your turn. Go do it. And Coach Phillips still talking to the official about that. Uh, the, yeah, that we're going to uh, call it a non-call if you're a Lago Vista fan. The non-call on the kick-catch interference. You know, the, uh, Cameron fan, it's, hey, it hit him. <laughs> that's <laughs> right. Know, so it's what, what color shirt you're wearing tonight and how that call went. So. Lano Yellow Jackets losing to the Gatesville Hornets 27 to 7. Mm. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. That is interesting. You got a Blanco score on there anywhere? I did not see any Blanco score. Smithville's up 34 0 in the third quarter. Comfort 21 0 still. Uh, here we go. Okay. 521 remaining in the ball game. See what we can do here. And they'll kick that to Ethan Helton. He's going to feel it at the 15. He takes it to the 20. And goes to the 30. Good return. Nope. Good return, Ethan Helton. Tell you what, he showed his baseball skills right there. <laughs> he that did. Ball off the turf like he did. Helton nice hands. I was a little worried about that. He had like an in-between hop, and he uh, he's, he's pretty he's yeah, pretty athletic there. Pretty, pretty good hands right there. Good return. All right, with five minutes, fourteen seconds remaining in the ball game, Vikings down by four. We're gonna have Ethan Helton, Braden Smith, and Gavin Hester. Out wide to the left. Logan Parsons in the backfield. And they'll give that to Parsons. Parsons is going to go to the 20, uh, 35, to the near the 40. Just About a four yard, uh, six yard gain on first down. Great jab. Good patience right there, right, Eric? Parsons. Yes. You know, ran over there, let the blocks develop, and just followed them for a solid gain on first down. Nice, nice job right there by the line and Logan Parsons. As Baron Calden's going to be outside to the right side. We got two wide receivers split out wide to the left, two to the right. And they'll give it to Parsons again. Parsons goes across the 40, 45. Nice. First down. I, Eric, I tell you what, Coach Phillips is loving this. If he can do this, he'll take it for all sure. the way down the field. Awesome. Be, because as you can that see, is just his, going. his runs are getting That's right. bigger chunks and bigger chunks That's and bigger exactly chunks. Right. I bet we start to see Mr. Garcia back there as well. All right, we're going to have trips to the left. 
One to the right. Parsons in the backfield. Ball's at the 47-yard line. Handed to Parsons again. He is going to get across midfield. God, look at him. Now Just about an eight-yard gain. Great balance. Seven yards Not after going contact. Down on the first touch. Logan running hard here in the fourth quarter. It's been a grind for him all night, but here he is shining when we need him. That was a seven-yard gain. Brings up second down and three as we're under four minutes left in the ball game. Four, uh, three minutes, 45 seconds. Vikings still deliberate, Eric. Still Very up. deliberate. Yep. Because, uh, you know, you don't want... A touchdown. Yeah. You do not want Cameron to have no. the ball with any time as they give it to Parsons again. Parsons right, goes right. across the 40. Just hold on to that ball, son. Yep. You can see it, and you can see he was aware of that. He gets, ta you know, he gets in traffic. Both hands go over the ball, the take the yardage. The clock is now going to start at 3:30. Vikings, I do believe, have all three of their timeouts. Both teams have all three of their timeouts remaining. So, the clock is running. The clock is running, and uh, you know when it, when you're feeling like this, I, I feel like the running clock is your friend. Yeah. Bowen Saab comes to the line. He's got trips to the left, one to the right. That's Garcia in the backfield. Garcia is going to run through a guy, <laughs> run through another guy, gets near past the 35 to the 33-yard line. I'm liking the physicality from the Viking offense right here, Eric. This is what, you know, we saw at times from them last year and years prior with, you know, Coach Phillips' offense is they can get physical running the football. Well, and that's what you want, right? Because mm -hmm. you should say, look, hey, okay, guess what we're going to do? We're going to run the ball, yep. and we're going to win the game. Yep. That's that's what they what's, what's what they want to show on offense right now is Helton comes into the backfield, low snap. Nice They're going to give it to Garcia. Going. He's going to go around the right side, and he's going to be stacked mm -hmm. up. Here's probably going to come our first time out, about, about 2.20 to play. Let's carry. see. One yard gain on the run. No, no, no call five. yet. So we got no. third and five. Coach third. Phillips. Elected not to stop the clock, gonna keep on going. So Bowen did a good job picking that snap up out of the out of the dirt right there and getting it to David. Yep. Under two minutes. Here we go. Two receivers spread out wide to the left, two to the right. Tell you what, Braden Smith has nobody on him. If you yeah, need five yards. Off very far. Yep. Bowen look. Bowen's gonna go. And he's nice. going to deliver a pass to Bre uh, Calden. Calden's going to go inside the five. There's going to be a timeout now. Got to be great play by Bowen and Brett and Rhett Calden. Outstanding. Bowen's showing. I like how he keeps his head up as he's moving. That is not Rhett Calden. That's Baron Calden. That's Baron Calden. <laughs> Sorry. One yeah. pass to number 21, Baron nice catch, Baron. Nice move. Nice after the. Well, and that's, you know. Hey, Baron, great yep. job. We're going to call your number. Go make a play. And he made some some, right. some people miss. So the clock's not stopped. It's counting down from 124. Vikings got the ball. And they're the going to go with the big boy package. Garcia takes the direct snap. And he's going to go up the middle. And he's in for a touchdown. And so you're thrilled <laughs> as a Viking fan. But do you leave? You've got 75 seconds still on that clock. Is that too much? Right. Uh, you know, the way this game is gone. So if you're the Vikings, you go for four and make them beat you with a touchdown, or do you just try to kick a field goal here? Looks like they're going to try to kick a field goal. Yep. So. Well, and again. Boy. Oh, my gosh, Eric. What a <laughs> back and forth. Uh, there's going to be. It really has been. Whistle. Looks like a timeout. Timeout, Lago, Lago Vista. I didn't see the play clock. It was pretty low. I, I, I'm not sure, but maybe either. they're. Uh, I think they were thinking about it. Oh my goodness! What a game! This has been one outstanding ball game. A minute fifteen with Cameron Yo with the balls. Well, a little scary. <laughs> they they could mean, go back and. They can get the ball and we can score again. That's right. <laughs> you know it. You know something. It's going to be one exciting finish. So, for sure. All right, Vikings come out. They're going to come out in field goal formation. Come on, Bowen, knock it through, kid. Big kick right here. 
Snap hold and the kick blocked. is blocked. Oh no. Get on him. Just fall on the ball. Oh no, no. they've got it. There's a block in the back, but they're not going to call it. And so this game's going to be tied, folks. Unbelievable. It's going to be tied. There was a clear block in the back, but it wasn't called. Un no laundry on the field, and folks, this game is tied. Oh, of course it is. That's a pu punch in the gut for the Vikings right there. Unbelievable. Yep. Unbelievable. Oi. Well. And, and, you know, you look and you're like, okay, what's the what's the worst thing that can happen here? You should go it, for one, go for that, two. Oh, yeah. yeah okay, yep. that can happen. Yep. This game's had everything, hasn't it? Not everything yet. No. <laughs> it has had just about everything you can have. Kick returns, interceptions. Bundles, you know. Well, oh, and that's man. But you know what's impressed me about the Vikings and really Cameron is with the ebbs and the flow, ebbs and the flow. Both teams just keep have just keep on coming back, keep on yep. coming back, keep on coming back because they've been challenged and they've been, you know. It, it, both teams have said have have had plenty of opportunities to be like, man, I guess it's just not going to be our night. All right, but here we go. Let's see. You got number four back deep. He has hurt us a couple times. Yeah, and this is a. Uh, All right, he's All right. set the ball here. So let's Marlon see. Marlon Gabriel. Let's see what he see what the plan is for the kickoff. And it's going to be a low squib. Ooh, was he on his knee when he fielded it? And he is, he's feeling a little magical. That was. All right, so it's a really good field position for the Yo right now as they're going to have the ball on the Vikings. Landon, Landon Green. Yeah, 44-yard line or 45-yard line of Lago Vista. So Viking D going to have to going to have to bow their necks here to make this to overtime. Or I'll tell you what, that's going to turn over of our own. Sure, for sure. Because this is, you know, it, it, it's interesting if yep. you are, um, Cameron, you got a minute? Well, you can't, you know. You, you got to get the ball down. You got to get down. You got to get the ball down the field. You got to get to the 15, 20-yard line for a field goal. I don't think their kid's got, I don't think he's got super. Distance. Trips to the right. They're going to look down the middle of the field and. Intercepted. Oh, almost intercepted Bowen Stab. What Bowen a Stubb. effort. What an, oh, my gosh. And it's your quarterback. It's your quarterback <laughs> yeah. in coverage. And now he has to come off the field because his helmet popped off. So that could be big. But that was an incredible pass breakup by Bowen Stab. We almost got our turnover, Eric. Almost. That would have been an – Unbelievable so play. There's going to be a timeout, a timeout on the out. field. So that they call it. Coach Phillips calls his timeout so he can put Bowen back on the field right there. Yep. So he's got one more in his pocket. So that allows him to reinsert Bowen into the game. He didn't have to sit out of play. That was a huge play. That well, and that's, that is, play. what, two or three really big pass breakups yep. by Bowen tonight. To save, you know, because that guy was that guy was yeah, open. That huge. he yes. he gets through that ball's down at the 15, and 10 the guy, yard line. The the receiver had a step, and Boom just caught up to the ball, and darn near pulled that down. Great makeup right. speed right there by Bowen. Stop. Cameron comes played. out again. They're going to have trips to the right. Come on, balls boys. at the forty-five yard line. They'll go one wide receiver to the left, one running back. Went to a screen over here with the receivers, I bet. There's a snap. Yep, They're going to fake, is. and there's a screen. Come and on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Nice tackle. Nice tackle. That is, that is Gavin Hester. Gavin Hester. Nice tackle for about a four or five-yard game. We thought they'd run that little bubble screen several times, and that Gavin Hester was having none of it right there. So 
48.6 to go. Now I believe Cameron has called their yeah. first time out of the night. Cameron emphatically called that yes. time out. Yeah. So. Coach was having a hard time <laughs> getting the attention of the official, and so he, uh, he got it eventually. Ta tied ball game. Unbelievable. Oh, I can't. Oh, come on, boys. And, you know, they, the, the thing for Lago is they've been, they've been knocking on the door of being able yep. to beat Cameron for years. It's been close yep. and close and close and close. And Coach Jansen talking to him today, he thought tonight was the night. They're right there. And it's right there. This is a big, big, come on, big night for the team, big night for the program. To the left, two to the right. They're looking down the left side. They're going to go deep. Go it all. Oh. oh, that ball is complete. <laughs> that they was a. a uh, they got a matchup they like down the side and just threw it up down the field and. That a was uh, Farrell Hemphill. Yeah. Who, uh, uh, you know, he's he's made some big catches and some big. Big plays tonight. Yep. So, who called that timeout? Lago. No, yeah, that was that Cameron? was Cameron. All right. So now they're down to their last timeout after this. So both teams have one timeout. Both yeah. teams have one remaining with about 40 seconds to play. So, if you're the Vikings, do you let them score? I know that's the that's that's the tough play, right? right. The the like tough do call. You, do you let them score in? I mean, they're well within field goal range. You know, do they just set this up and make C Coach Phillips use his last time out to stop it? You know, and that way they don't – we can't ice the kicker, right, you know. Right, I mean, And so I don't know do you, if – Or do you just let them run in the end zone and give yourself as much time as possible to try to answer back? And if you're Cameron Yo, do you score immediately or you, yeah, do you, do you, you tell, know? Yeah, do you tell your kids, hey, don't go score? You know, that's a, that. So there's a lot going there's on. There's a here. lot going. Two in the backfield. They are going to yep. run that ball up the middle, and it's going to be short. Going to be short. So, Coach Phillips going to make Cameron use their last time out. All right. No more. All right. Eric, ball looks to be on about what the one, two, ball looks the, ball the half yard line. Yeah, about the half yard line. And so if they run a play, if they run a play here, Eric, they might have time, and they don't get it, and it's not a throw. If they run the ball, might have time for two running plays here. You know. Right. Obviously throw the ball. They can run, use the rest of their downs. But Well, this is, you know. And who knows? I mean, they've, the young man who caught the pass earlier is a tall, tall kid, so they may just – they got options here. Come on, defense. Bow your necks. You yeah, better. this is a – You have fought all night long. Keep doing just it. Just go make one play here. Yep. You have fought all night long. Yeah. All right, Good they're going to come out. Size on size yep. on the outside. So, try to take away the jump ball. Two in the backfield. Two to the right, one to the left, and they'll hand Get that him. to Keyshawn yeah. Johnson. He's going to be short. He's going to be short, and the clock is running, Eric. We are now at 28 seconds. The Vikings say they have the ball. Clock is going. Under 18 seconds. Vikings saying they have the ball. No signal. Let's see what Let's happens. See. There's a lot uh, well, of All I know is that the Viking Vikings. coaches were ecstatic. Right. They were jumping. Come on, come on, tell me we got that ball, please. Tell me we got that ball. Point your hand to the to the north. Point your hand to the north, please. Oh, you're kidding me. Here we are again. Feels like last time. So 13.2 left. It is It is third. They're going to try to kick the field oh, goal. And they should be running the clock. I don't know why the clock's not running. I don't understand. I don't know why the clock is not running here. An official's timeout. Oh, come this on, boys. Get your hands on it. Get your hands on it. Get your hands on it. Come on. 
Their clock's going. It's five, four, and there's a whistle before the play. I okay, so know. I think we called our last time out. We use our last time out to talk about it. There's five point three to play, Eric. That's in what has been <laughs> what an incredible <laughs> ball game. Okay, so if we can recap for just a minute. Yeah. So in, in, in uh, this last play, I mean, it, oh. it's tough to see. You know, we're up it, here. Yeah, we don't. The have the Lago Vista coaches were celebrating like we had recovered a yes. fumble. That we came out of the pile with the ball. The ball. Um, then they reset. I, I am going to say that uh, they should have been started the clock way they before should, they yeah, did. They allowed, allowed Cameron to get their whole kicking team on the field and set, which they wouldn't have been able to do had, you know, yeah. otherwise. So, All right, so here we go. Come Five on, seconds boys. left. Cameron to kick the extra point. All right, here we go. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. And the kick is up, and... No good. It is no good. No Eric. good. They hold. No good. Wide to the right. Eric, we held that defense bowed their neck. Unbelievable. They what heart and fight from that defense. That is outstanding. Unreal. Hey, how about overtime? How about overtime? <laughs> sure, sure. We're here. Oh, my gosh. Well, And that's, you, you know, when you... When you talk to the coaches, right, they would always say, we're not going to let them score. We do, we're going to make them earn every uh, every little thing. Outstanding. And um, so there we go. And, and you've got 1.9 seconds left. Do you get the ball? <laughs> do you, what do you do? You kneel it? Do you just go overtime? Or do you just air this thing out and see what happens here? Tonight, you, I mean, really, there's been so many big plays tonight. Well, they get the ball. So they get the ball from the spot of the kick. No, it looks like they get it at the, the so, 25. So Cameron's gonna obviously going to be in yeah. massive prevent here. So ball's out to the about 20-yard line. Laces out. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> Laces out, Dan. And uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. okay, smart. And here we go. Smart. We'll go overtime. Unbelievable. If you want to talk about a little bit of everything, a little bit of everything, a little controversy, That's sure. Right. Now it is 47 to 47. So it's been a while since we had an overtime game. So like college, I believe, both teams get a possession starting at the 25-yard line. You know, and uh, you got a match. Yeah, you got to uh, – and, and then is it the, the third possession that you got to go for two? Go for two? So. What a ball game. Boy, that was uh, – that is that is a really, you know, if you're talking about, you know, officiating the end or you know oh whatever. Gosh. There's so much, um, and but hey, can we just give well it up to the Vikings no. for for not giving up, yeah. always fighting up? You know, they got the ball on you the scored, half yard line. You score a touchdown, you get your kick blocked and returned for two points. You give up a big pass play. You fight from the three yard line. You think you turn the ball over. And they and just then, keep on coming, and then keep it on coming. allows them to run their kicking team out, and so you're just thinking, my goodness gracious, what? Yet you every know. every reason, yeah, to, to, every reason to just to say it ain't our night, and they just keep fighting. I hope Raj just got another battery. <laughs> yeah, I know. We don't want the uh, yeah. coach Phillips is uh, now talking to the officials and just kind of. S just discussing yes. maybe some things he would um, have preferred yes. to go the other way. Tails never fails. Here Try. we go on the coin toss. Cameron. I imagine that's a rather intense conversation down there. you got two head football coaches whose teams have battled their tails off tonight. And the official. <laughs> the <Yeah>. official's <laughs> like. <laughs> He's in the middle of it. <laughs> I, mean? I gotcha. So it looks like Cameron's getting the, or it looks like we're going to the north end zone. So Cameron's going to go on defense first. Looks like Eric Vago is going to have it on offense. Yep. So, all right, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> oh, my goodness gracious. Well, uh, you know, how fun. And I do want to give a shout-out. Um, I know the uh, a lot of the kids on the JV Football team are, are over at the, uh, I believe, the Nichols house tonight. 
watching the game. And, uh, hey, can't wait, wait to uh, call this for you all next I, year. I now know why we're in overtime because we haven't given our shout-out to Miss Kunze tonight. That's true. That's true. Hold on. And it's 1030. No <laughs> way she's right. still awake. <laughs> we we missed our Miss Kunze shout-out window like three hours ago. <laughs> All right, so Vikings are going to come out on offense first. They're going to have the ball at the 25-yard line. Score touchdown, whatever. It is not sudden death. Cameron Yule will have the opportunity to answer. We'll go three to the left, one to the right, one in the backfield, and they'll give that to Parsons. Parsons will take it across the 25. We'll go 24-yard line. I think they wanted to go back to um, try to get that running game established that they right. did so well. It's funny how overtime changes that. For sure. Like, you get just a little bit of a fresh breath. We got Braden Smith and Gavin Hester out wide to the left. Ethan Helton and Baron Calden out wide to the right. Logan Parsons is going to line up behind Bowen Staub. Ooh, may have and left early. Yeah. Just a hair early on the line, so we're going to lose five on that. That's unfortunate. So, Eric, we got to get probably to the 15-yard line to have a – if we're forced into field goal, so. Yeah, so this is a uh, – this is a big second down here. Yep, big second down here. And that, that – that's an unfortunate penalty as it, you know, takes you out of your strategy of trying to just pound the ball. Yep. Now you're second and 14. Two to the left, two to the right. And Bowen's going to drop the snap. They're going to call him down. He was not down when he picked the ball up, I don't think, Eric. I would. So he dropped the snap, but I don't think his knee was on the ground when he picked the ball up. He squatted. But they're going to call him down. I'd sure like to see that again. I sure would like to see that again because I was thinking the same thing that the officials were looking for. And I, I, don't, I, mean, I, I, I don't think he put his knee down. I think he squat to pick the ball up. So. Well, that is. Yeah, that is, a, that is two, 20 yards. two pretty we need something rough special. plays. All right, two to the left, two to the right. We need something special here. Bowen's going to drop back. He's going to step up. And he's, he's looking. He's got a man on the end zone. Touchdown, Touchdown Ethan Helton. Ethan Helton, what a play. We only what a one. play. No flags on the field. Oh, what a passing catch. Helton ran free in the back of the end zone. Bowen, <laughs> stop. Step up. I was worried that they had a pretty good uh, pursuit or rush on the outside. I thought he was going to get a hand on Bowen's throwing arm before he could get the ball off, and Bowen got rid of it and put it, dropped a dime, Eric. Well, and a great job by Helton. Getting to his feet in. Get feet he in. only needed one, but he, I think he got both in. Snap, and the kick is, is good. Good. Huge play. Helton. Wow, what an answer for the Vikings. All right, defense, come on. You got it, you got it, you got it. 54-47. Unreal, what a throw and catch. Well, Vikings. and again, after the momentum was, yes. okay, so penalty, drop snap, questionable call was his knee down. Bowen was able to step up and drop make a play. A <laughs> what? Drop a dime. Helton, once again, showing ability. I, the ball's in the air, he hits another gear, mm -hmm. and he's able to run it down. It's just incredible to watch. Ethan encouraging the Viking fans, <laughs> Viking faithful, getting up off their feet over there, making some noise. Come on, Viking defense. Well, and now you've got, you know, it's interesting. You know, if you're Cameron at this point, well, okay, it doesn't matter. Everything's four yeah, down everything's territory. Good. Yeah, you're going until you get in that end zone. All right, they're going to come out with two in the right, two to the right, two, uh, two to the left. And they're going to run a reverse. reverse. We haven't seen that tonight. They right, well, ooh, oh, he cut it back. Oh, he's going to be tackled from behind. That was tackle made by. I couldn't tell who ran him down. But uh, they ran, Bryce Jackson, I believe, made the tackle. Earlier when you were on technical support, <laughs> and the Vikings did a good job of snuffing it out, and they 
did a good job there and I think over pursued and left a running lane that yeah, he was able to, to cut, cut back. back. And so they recognized it and over pursued it and now we got cramps again by the yep. young man who just made that incredible run down to the three yard line. So Well, as the Vikings have shown, you know, don't yeah. give up a yard, right? Yep. Now you got first and goal at the So if you're Cameron here last time you tried to pound the ball in, you know, number five who's been a stud all night is on the sideline with leg cramps. Goolsby, who just ran, or the young man who just made that run, is now dealing with leg cramps. So, the was it Keyshawn Johnson? Yep, Keyshawn they Johnson. Back, yep, they'll probably have back there. And I know uh, number f four, Farrell Hemphill, is he a is big body outside who can go get a ball. He has so made some strong Vikings plays have tonight. To count for him. Well, we got a second to break in the action. Give a shout out to our coaches. We've got a, uh, you know, Coach Phillips, head coach, Kuderna uh, coming back, Jim Ed Baugh, unbelievable, um, Coach Castle, Coach McAdams, Highlander, Will, uh, Jansen, Coach Walker, our new guys, uh, Roy Garcia, has done an awesome job. Uh, coach Curry done a great job, and then um, Coach Babiak. Coach Babiak, who I had in class. You had him, too? I had him, too. Yeah, I had him, too. All right, here we go. First down and goal at the four-yard line. Come on, defense. You got this. Come on. Keep fighting. Keep fighting. They got a did false they get start. Him? Oh, they, did they get him to jump? Looks like – please be against the offense. Please. And they would have to be against the offense if they if stopped the play, play, yeah. False start, so that's going to back him up five, so it's going to put the ball on the eight. That's going to go first and goal at the – Mm -hmm. And we'll go with the, what, yeah, nine-yard line. Yep. And uh, Cameron was going to run the ball there. Yep. So I think Cameron was to try to run it. Avoid a chance of an interception because Vikings have shown to get their hands up on those slants some tonight. Mm -hmm. So, oh, come on, boys. All right, two to the left, two to the right, one in the come backfield. On, come on, boys. Gonna throw. Oh, oh he's no. looking for him. Pill and running on his own. Yep, lost contain. Well, and that was yeah. you know the the cornerback was in a uh, you know he, he was darned if you do, darned yeah. if you don't because he had to either leave Hemp Hill. Yeah, and that would have been an easy touchdown. Well, were, or uh, try to get the quarterback. I think the play initially was a jump ball to Hemp Hill in the corner, and I don't know if we were blitz. Looked like we were blitzing. Almost had the quarterback off balance. He was able to regain his balance. Unfortunately, we had no contain on that side, and you, yeah, then it put your quarter, your corner in a no-win situation. Well, they've All missed right. a kick before. He's, it's Let's a, see a what big we got. kick here. Kicks up, and, and it's, it's good. Good. All right. Well, oh. Bowen was close. Yep. As a flag on the play, anyway. Yeah, that, Bowen was that'll offsides. be Bowen. <laughs> as long as he didn't hit the kicker or the holder, I don't think he did. I don't think he did. All right, the referee put it offsides. Yeah, I don't think he made contact with the kicker or the holder. I think he was probably a step early, but. So they're going to ask. It looks like it is going to be against the Vikings. So it's probably an offsides call. Or the officials just tired and his hands on the ball. <laughs> well, and coach is thinking, go for the yeah, win, or you're gonna get a yard yeah, he's going to decline. So he's going to. All, right. all right. So now Cameron gets the ball first uh, in this overtime. So, oh my goodness gracious! What a ball game! What a what a ball game! What a ball game! You look at both sidelines, Eric. And you got kids fighting cramps on both sides. You got, but I mean, both teams and fans are just completely involved and engaged and just enthralled with this game. This is a fun ball game to be part of. It's it, it, it's such a such a yes, great start, right? It really is. I mean, it is. It's Young awesome. Will take over first down and ten from the twenty-five yard line. All right, so second time 
around. Cameron's going to take the ball from the 25. And the referee still calling offsides. <laughs> <laughs> that was really offsides. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. First and 10, 25-yard line. So the second time in uh, overtime, they flip rolls, right? So Cameron's going to have the ball first. They can either um, score a touchdown or a field goal here. If they score a touchdown, they can still go for one. Two to the left, two to the right, one in the backfield, and they're going to take the they snap, look, fake the uh -oh. handoff, do a little bubble screen, well blocked, and yeah. going to be taken down for about an eight-yard gain. They may have outflanked us a little bit there. Gage Mayhew on the tackle. That was an important tackle and, and cover right there because they got a man in space that we just didn't pick up right away, and that was a little, uh, that was a little nervous right there. For sure. <laughs> All right, guys, here we go. All right, two to the left, two to the right. Helton on an island over here with Farrell. Or Hemphill, I yep. should say. And we're, we're on a last name basis. We're not That's quite right. on a first name basis. They're going to hand that ball off the middle Ace to yep. number 35. So with their formation, what they're able to do is take a lot, open up a lot of the middle of the field. And he was able to, Solomon's, you know, the Fabian uh, number five is a big, big running back. This is this is your traditional scat back, who's able to hide behind that line and find those seams, and he cuts through. There's nobody in the backfield to really get him. So, all right, they big are going to go touchdown. for two. Looks like, yeah, looks like we're in go for two times. So, sixty to fifty-four. Yep. <laughs> Come on, defense. Come All right, on. time out on the field. I know you're tired, but come on, guys. Go make one play. Yeah, you make one play, and you got a fighting chance. Oops. I know you're tired. You need a water? I would love a water, thank you. I'm pretty thirsty from all this talking. Yeah, right there in the fridge. I will say, shout out to uh, Cameron for quite the nice press box set up here. Sure, sure, I'll take a soda. Trying to be healthy just by drinking water, but I guess. <laughs> what? I don't want a Dr. Pepper. What are we talking about? Uh, <laughs> All right, here we go. Back to reality here. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, they're going to bobble the snap, and he is going to make it into the end zone for two. He was able to put a move on Bryce Jackson, and uh, Bryce doesn't miss much. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. All right, well. All right, so we got to answer with eight. We got to answer with eight and get another shot at it. Both teams have answered the bell all night long. All right. Well, Come it, on, Lago. Just you know, and you've seen it. Plugging. It's like, oh, I don't know. Will Lago have an answer? Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, will Cameron have an answer? Yes. So, come on, boys. All right, here we go. Lago comes out. They're going to have Braden Smith, Gavin Hester out wide to the left, two wide receivers out wide to the right. That's Ethan Helton and Brett uh, Baron Calden. They're bringing some pressure. And they've got a man wide open. Touchdown, Vikings! Touchdown, Vikings! Oh, my goodness. I can't tell who is that. Is that Ethan? Again? That is Ethan Hilton. Again? They brought the pressure. <laughs> Bowen stepped up and just delivered a strike. I think there was a misalignment because there was two receivers over there, and the defensive back, I think, got confused. And Aiden just ran free again. Creighton, the offense sees something. All right, here we go. <laughs> yeah. and it comes down to it comes down to this play right here. Got to get in the end zone. So we're putting up the, the the big package in. Is what well, I guess we'll, we'll call it right. We'll now. call it the big package until we hear a better name. Yeah. <laughs> and this is uh this is maybe where you 
Garcia's going to pass. What a perfect shot. Oh, Two-point conversion. Tebow special. Yes. Gets that is Aiden Stojanic. Oh, my gosh. And, you know, we said you're going to see a lot of different plays through that, but, we're, you know, who knows what you're going to see tonight? Well, they wanted to bring something else out in a pretty big moment. Oh my They're like, hey, we got to stop that Garcia guy. we got to stop him. Oh, wait. What a play call. So here we go to triple overtime. Both teams tied it. 62. 62. So I believe Lago, Lago will take the ball. Flip, so Lago gets the ball. All right. So... Oh my gosh. Okay, what a great play call. It <laughs> was an incredible play call. Uh, I tell you, this has been a fun ball game. So before. fun. So oh fun. My goodness. And I, I knew, you know, I, I, I saw that formation and I thought, okay, no way are we going to run the same thing that we've run, you know, five well, you times. There's, yeah. there's other options. Yeah. Well, there you go. There's one the, the jump pass. Oh, it was so good, so well executed. <laughs> and Aiden, Aiden Storjanic, what a great opportunity yeah. for for that young man. Like, hey, welcome to your first touchdown, probably your first yeah. touch in a uh, in a in a high school game. At double overtime at Cameron Yo State. <laughs> yeah, you go, not to son. get the touchdown, but to get the extra point, the two point conversion. All right. All right, what's happening here? I don't know what the holdup is. Wait a minute, why are we having to, what's the, wait a minute here, okay. Okay. That would have been, so this is strange because folks, I'm not sure what what's going on here. So do we just now go, we're in triple overtime, do we? This must be new for us. As a well, offense. unless it was there. Now has one play to score, I guess, now now that we're in triple overtime. Okay. Anybody know? Is that but that, 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 that score did count, right? It is 62-62. Okay. So that's what it is. So it's a two-point. All right. So there we go. Ethan Helton at the triple reverse. Bowen, Bowen stops oh in. Oh, my gosh. Wow, that was like a double reverse with an option to throw to Garcia, and it looked like he was going to throw. Then he pulled it down. And All he right. Able to get across the line, so the Vikings get their two-point conversion to go up right. 64-62. Oh my goodness gracious, Eric! Okay, so that's now. This is what's going to happen. Yes. It's just two-point conversions, sudden death. From here on out, yep. I guess. You make oh, a stop, and you're good. Make a stop and win the ball game. And that's that's all you got to do. And now, if you are, uh, if you if you are you you are going deep into the playbook, right? Like you're, you're drawing plays in the turf right now. Yeah. Okay. So you go, you go, you go, yeah. and let's let's make a stop. Not quite annexation Puerto Rico time, <laughs> but it's getting there. <laughs> Come on, All right. Come on, defense. Come on, defense. Come on, one play. One, one play. Guys. One play. Here's the snap, and they're going to give a reverse. The ball's out. The ball's down. Vikings are going to win. The well, well, don't stand on center. Vikings win. Vikings win. Vikings win. What a win. play. Oh, my gosh. As the coaches and team run out onto the field, this is a huge win for this team and an incredible Unreal. Ball. Oh, my goodness. What a ball game. <laughs> Unbelievable. Unreal way to start this season. An incredible ball game. What an incredible ball you game. You know, and what Cameron had tried to do on that one yes. was, was do the same thing where, you know, a little trickery, a little reverse, and they weren't able to do it. And my goodness. What a game. What a game. And look at this. Sportsmanship. Players appreciate uh, both teams. Just, I mean, oh my goodness. Well, and that's, you know, you walk away from a game like this, and it's, man, unbelievable. 
It was 64 to 62. I don't know if I've ever, I have never, never right. called a game. All right, Eric, we're going to remember this one for a long time. Yeah, I've called basketball games that haven't scored this much. Yes. And this is also great to see. We missed this last year. Yes. Teams shaking hands in the middle of the field. This is what a ball game. What a ball game. So proud of our young men. Yeah. So proud. Well, I will say, before anybody texts us, that's Coach Rogers. He, he did turn the camera off. <laughs> so um, we know that the camera's off, but we'll work with Rogers about that. Like, hey, maybe you maybe. Don't cut the broadcast off because you were yeah. we're on your film, but I know you'd like to go home too. So, um, <laughs> we'll, may have melted. yeah. Um, well, hey, we're gonna wrap it up here from Cameron. Both Un the middle of the field now. Believable sure night. A, uh, this is a this is a neat. I mean, for Lago Vista folks, this is a huge. It's a huge, huge win, right? So, like huge. we had talked about, it was gonna be like they have been. Knocking on the door, you know, Cameron. We you, we used to come to Cameron. I was like, oh, oh god, yeah, this is yeah. gonna be rough. Yep. Um, and then uh, look at this, Eric. I don't know if you want to describe the scene. Both Cameron's coach, Lago players are kneeling with the Cameron players, white and maroon out there. Looks like a young man from Cameron's gonna lead a prayer. It's a nice moment. You know, and that that it is it's just a, a nice game. That yeah, is a nice nice moment. Well, it's like, hey, you know what? We just Put it all out on the line there, and it, it, it's that is a great, great thing. Hey, congrats, Coach K. Congrats. <laughs> so. All right. Well, hey, we're gonna wrap it up here from Cameron. Out, Eric. Hey. That, hey. That was great. A, what a game. A what a fun season this is gonna be. Wow. All right. What a ball game. What We're going to wrap it up. Hope everybody has a wonderful evening. Coach Hill, be nice to him next week. He's running the show by himself. Go get a color guy. <laughs> I will recruit some folks. Yeah, get some. Get Miss Coonsie will help you out a bit. <laughs> Fresh tea. <laughs> <laughs> All right, for BJ Hill, Eric Colts, I hope everybody has a great evening. Thank you.